live. Hello, everybody. Welcome back uh, to JLW Games. Um, I know. Oh, wait, that's not your intro. Yeah, <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> I know. I know how fast people get in here, so it's like within seconds, people are like, Hello, "Yo, what everybody. up?" <sighs> All right, so that doesn't look great. My name is JLW Games. I am back with another Planet Coaster creation. Today, we are going to be talking about uh, what should we talk about? Silver Dollar City recreation. Yeah, why not? If we get a thousand views on this stream, like a thousand people watching at the same time, Joe will release this park to everybody else besides me. Yeah, that sounds fair. I have it by accident. Hey, Custer Rand, actually, what's up? Joe didn't actually mean for me to have it. I just had it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't how, even mean how, for me to have it. How did you get that again? I don't know. I, I never downloaded it, but it's not even on the workshop. I don't know how I have SDC, but I just have uh, it. I have it on the workshop. It's just hidden. Maybe you mark me as a but contributor, I've, but I've contributor never, by accident. But I haven't updated it in quite a while. But you yeah, get all no, the my, up, mine updates but you get, every but yours updates every single time I cha make changes. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what's right. up? Oh, I'm doing awesome. Thanks. Man, we got people in here already. Fear kill shots. How's it going? What's up, people? Ghost Durant, you guys are both in here. How's it going, guys? How's it? What's hanging? Right now, we're working on the Silver Dollar City recreation. This is going to be the Riverfront Playhouse when it's done. I got a lot of reference photos for this building. It's a huge building. It's actually one of the theaters uh, in the park, and it's right across from Mystic River Falls. I'm going to start developing this road here here pretty soon because this this road is just sad and lonely uh, when compared to the rest of the park. Look at this. Look how empty it is. Yeah, it just has a bunch of empty buildings that haven't been worked on. <laughs> You're going down to Branson on Thursday. It's going to be fun. Are you, uh, you, gotta, are you coming to SDC? You better because I'll be there, of course. <laughs> Because um, I'm off Wednesday, actually, uh, when the park's open, and I um, actually will be working Thursday, so that's awesome. Sweet. Be a good day to come, because I don't think it'll be too busy since it's a Thursday. Wednesdays and Thursdays are probably the best days to come at SDC, if you can. I'm hopefully going to Branson sometime in the spring. Nice. Beautiful. All right, so let's continue on the Riverfront Playhouse here. I got uh, just uh, so many, so many reference photos here. And I'm working on this side of the building, and we're going to work our way around to this side. There's actually some restaurants. This building has a lot of stuff in it. It's got the, um, the theater itself. It's got um, a little hot dog stand. It's got lockers. It's got, this is, this is like a big building that has tons of different things on it. Uh, Bryce Games, what's up? How you doing? Man, how many Probably people Probably come by and say hi. Nice. Um, uh, it's four? Seven? Oh. I don't know. I see two different things at the same time. One says seven, and then one says four. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm about to join oh, the stream. Oh, one says up. nine, and now the other one still says four. I Mine think, says ten. I think the, <laughs> the top one is the current, and then the bottom one might be the average. I'm not sure. Because oh, okay. I think the, the other one shows analytics. So that must be the, uh, I think that's the average, because it has the average watch time, the playbacks, stuff like that. And then the top one is actually my current viewers as of right now. Infinite Gaming's in here is also, what's up? What is up, Infinite Gaming, Bryce Games, what is Fear, shaking? Real, Kill Shots. Yeah, Fear, Fear, Fear Kill Shots, I think. <laughs> okay, Coaster Rant, what's up, people? But, uh... Gunner's with me right now. He's actually working on our uh, Red River Valley at, at the moment while I'm working on this. So he wanted yes, sir. he wanted the park back for just a small a bit of time, and he's gonna give it right back. At least I hope he does. <laughs> oh yeah, I will. Okay, as long as, as long as you get back, pretty quick. Because <laughs> I want it back. I got. Um, well, a, I want it for a little bit. I, I, got, I got some stuff I want to do. Oh, me. Oh, we both do. <laughs> yeah, basically. So, guys, we're at the. Me and Joe are at the point now where it's like, 
if we're inspired to do something, we're like, hey, can we have the park for a few days? Sure. <laughs> and then we just kind of pass it back and forth. Like, we don't really have a set time anymore that we have it, I guess. Because it's like, that's kind of like how it's been recently, huh? It's just, like, just hey, kind of been giving hey, it away. I'm like, hey, I'm forth. inspired. Give it to me. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Jackson, what's up? How you doing? What's up, Jackson? Gosh, where did, where did this come from? Oh, hey, I'm starting to remember a lot of these people from uh, previous streams. I'm starting to get that, to know the YouTube community now. Is that diagonal? Man. Why is that diagonal? Oh, did your um, did your graph screw with you? <laughs> Why is this diagonal? Dude, I hate when it does that. When it, you know, when you press X and it's like weird. Oh, auto save. Ah. Not auto save. See, my mouse is kind of messed up right now, so I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh... Yeah. Jackson was in the last one. I do remember that. We're doing yeah, one. yeah. I, I um, remember a lot of these people. Well, some of them. We all know, I know how. Infinite Gaming <laughs> from first time. This one. This is my second stream. Nice. Yeah, I'm starting. I'm starting to remember people now. I'm starting to remember you guys. Ah, uh, Jackson, you've been quarantined. Keep, oh man! Trying to keep you, yourself. You got the Rona, or been in contact, or been in contact, dude. We've gotten so many cases at my school, but they still haven't shut us down yet. So we're going back. Hey, Braden, what's up? Braden, Doctor Awesome Wizard. How is everyone doing? How How are yeah. you? Hold up. <laughs> if you haven't, okay, we got eleven people watching, and only four people have liked the stream. Five people now. <laughs> Come on. Like it. Like it up. I want to see the likes go up. Come on. You gotta like, like Let's the, go like for 500,000 likes in this stream. Like. <laughs> <laughs> 500,000 Five. likes and I'll release the park to everyone. Early. SDC Recreation, not Red River Valley. Ooh, we got a sixth like. And if Yay. we get a million, I'll release Red River Valley early. Yeah, well, no, no, no. Do you really we think we're getting a million that. views? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we got eight likes now. It's going up quick, Joe. Ooh. Man. <laughs> a million views. I think you got potential, Joe. I think you got potential. Uh, oh, no, I, I, know. I know you got potential. Oh. Jackson's asking a question. Oh, sorry. Wait, uh... Um... Huh? Oh, asking how how are oh, we doing? Oh, I'm Braden said nothing much. How about you, Joe and Gunner? Man, I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Braden. Thank you so much. Tony Tony uh, has been Jackson. terribly on one at uh, the one good thing is Mr. Cover opening. <laughs> I mean that even was kind of a uh, Mystic opening was kind of a train wreck as well, so <laughs> When does S D C close? That's what Jackson's asking. The uh, the last day is January 2nd. We're open through January 2nd. I'll uh, I'll be heading out there. We're going to film the Yeah. The vlog of the year. Vlog of the year. <laughs> it's going to be a way to cap off 2020, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the Man. Uh, Yeah, uh Gunner's it's coming down. Nice. For a few days, I, and we're gonna I have we're gonna one day. Partying. I have one day off that we're gonna go visit the park and just hang out. So. I'll I'll be there for a few days though. We're gonna be partying, man. We're gonna be partying. Yeah. Every day, all night, no sleep. No playing no, planet. No. No sleep. <laughs> no sleep. Wait, did I not make these part of the building? What? Is, what am I doing? Bye bye, fear kill shots. Wait, it is. Have to get uh, off Jackson, stream. So bye. All right, see ya. Jackson said, "When does it oh. open after that?" Uh, I I don't know if they've released the twenty twenty one schedule yet. Really? Yeah, I don't think I don't think they've released it. They usually have it released by now. Um, we'll know soon, but typically it's usually around. Um, it's always mid March, so like March. 14th to 17th it's usually one of those days like every single year it's usually the a, a, a saturday on one of those days our opening day is usually a saturday so whatever day is a saturday will probably it be it around there i'd imagine so if 
I bring up my handy dandy calendar here for March, let's see, March 2021, I, if I had to guess, it's probably going to be the 13th, March 13th, because that's a Saturday, and they wouldn't go wait till the 20th, so I'm going to guess the 13th, I would imagine. Mm. Um, so that's going to be the best bet. I'm going to say a 90% chance it's going to be uh, March 13th will be opening day of 2021. Because it's always that Saturday right there in the middle of the month. <clears throat> Man, you know what's crazy? Hmm. Oh, snap. Well, that's just as crazy, just in a negative way. We were almost at 20 viewers. 20 at oh. one time. Wow. And you just started, and now we're down to 11. Oh! <laughs> we Where did like we go? 50%. Man. What? what? <laughs> is this Red River Valley? Ooh. No, this is Silver Dollar City, the recreation for Silver Dollar City. When um, when do you think Silver Dollar City will get a new ride, and what ride? Um, So, Ooh. I think I know what it is. Uh, it's, beans, all, it's all rumor and speculation, so take it with a grain of salt, and don't say, oh, Joe said that, so it's 100% confirmed, because... <laughs> <laughs> it's not but confirmed. The rumor is is that it's going to be uh, a new version of Fire in the Hole. And like when I say that, I'm not saying they're going to update Fire in the Hole. They're going to completely demolish the old one and build a brand new one and it's going to be in a different location in the park. That is the rumor. Go. That's a big rumor. You heard it here first on JLDB Games, so if it's wrong, come back to him. <laughs> and um, as for when it opens, I think it was supposed to open in 2022, um, but that might be delayed now because of COVID and stuff, so I don't know um, for sure, But because usually it's every other year when we get something new, basically, when it comes to rides. Usually, um, for instance... So like 2018 we've got we got Time Traveler and 2019 is our off year. 2020 we get Mystic River Falls. 2021 it will be an off year. 2022 we'll probably get Fire in the Hole 2.0. Um most likely. And um mm -hmm. usually we trade off with Dollywood. So like Dollywood will get something the year that we're not doing anything and then we'll get something the year Dollywood's not getting something. That's usually how it goes. So, like, for instance, I think Dollywood was supposed to have their big new coaster in 2021. I think they were supposed to. Um, I think. Because that was the big um, announcement they were going to do. Was was that supposed to be 2021? Or is later, do you think? Uh, weren't, weren't, they, weren't they supposed to announce it the earlier this year, but they canceled the announcement? It was either going to be this year or next year. There was going to be a big coaster coming. This yeah. year or next year, I forgot what it was though. Yeah, but that yeah <clears throat> yeah that's true, and that was confirmed by multiple sources that um, that I know that are actually like managers at the park. Right. So, um, <clears throat> it's basically just me and Joe's home parks just battling. I like shall I reveal the four other coasters I have in my new park so far, besides the not a recreation coaster, Blue Flash and Blue Two. Oh yeah, I remember you saying about uh, Blue Flash and Blue Two, <laughs> naming them after those backyard coasters. <laughs> same theme so yes on the fire in the hole it's supposed to be as far as i know the same theming i've heard a rumor that they're not gonna have the bald knobbers in it though which would completely eliminate the theme in my opinion <laughs> just because of how dark the theme is but since they've been kind of getting away from the that kind of theming lately but i i have no clue um it's all 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 speculation and rumors across the inside of the park. So um, this is coming from like maintenance guys, guys that have more inside info. So um, it's pretty reliable. I've everything I predicted has become complete, become completely right. So um, when they were building Time Traveler, I was saying it was going to be a mock extreme spinning coaster. That was correct, and I knew that about two years before it opened. <laughs> When they started uh, started the construction on it, because um, uh, that was the rumor going around that it was going to be a extreme spinning coaster with two launches and three inversions that ended, and that was the exact words that the maintenance guy told me. 
that two years ago. So it's not the same maintenance guy that told me this other stuff. But um, And then for Mystic River Falls, there was a huge rumor going around Park that they're going to close Lost River and build a new bigger raft ride. Um, and that ended up being true. Um, and they never announced the closure of Lost River. They just closed it and never reopened it. Um, and I knew it was going to close too. Like at that point, I already knew it was going to close. So I, and I felt, I was upset because they didn't tell anybody that it was done forever. <laughs> I wish they would have announced, at least announced the closure. So everyone would have known when their last ride on it was. Cause I kind of, I got my last ride on it last few rides. Actually, I think I rode it like two or three times. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. Yep, so, and yeah. now the big one going around is Fire in the Hole, so um, I know that's going to cause a riot when they announce the closure of that, if they announce the closure of it. So the plan that I've heard is that they'll keep the old one open. Remember, the new one's supposedly in a new location, somewhere behind the Fireman's Landing. Because remember, Fireman's Landing's theme actually ties in to Fire in the Hole's theme. Because Fire in the Hole, you know, the bald numbers burnt the town down. And everything and fireman's landing is a uh firefighter volunteer fair thing to help prevent fires of the city uh ever happening again since the bald knobbers started that fire so that's kind of where the theming of that goes into um so um so the rumor is that they'll build the new one behind fireman's landing or somewhere in that area and while the old one still operates and as soon as the old one shuts down they're going to open the new one so you'll you won't have a whole year without a fire in the hole being open is what what i've heard so like i said everything that i've heard for the last years that i've worked at sdc they've all come true so i'm i'm pretty confident in this one <laughs> but again not 100 percent confirmed in any way shape or fashion <laughs> <laughs> or, um, wait, five, not so four. So basically, if Joe is wrong, please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still remembering when I went to Sword Art City uh, in 2017 and saw the, the building Time Traveler. Oh, yeah, it was so cool. Made me sad I couldn't write it yet. <laughs> uh, when this is done, the one right has problems firing the hole. It doesn't really have many issues. It's just showing its age, I guess you could say. Um, it's, it was built in 1972 by the park. Like it didn't even have a manufacturer. The manufacturer was the park itself. So, um, fun fact, if you didn't know, um, it was built in house by the park <clears throat> and it's just old. It was one of the first rides to ever opened at SDC. So, and it's just showing its age. They either need to update it or, you know, build a new version of it. Uh, I'm all for it, um, as long as they do it right. So, um, I'm working on a part called um, L. Gosh, I can't read. Elemental. Ele Elemental. Okay. Like my eyes were playing tricks on me when I was trying to read Is that. that. It? I don't know. I wasn't looking. I think it's no, Elemental. No, no, no. Um, so far, okay. <laughs> five coasters including Fire Dragon, Riptide, Timber, Orbit, and a work in progress Circus. All right. Some pretty epic names in there. Um, if they get rid of Fire in the Hole, will you update this park after it gets removed? So yes, I'm gonna keep the park up to date. So if the park removes rides or um does anything i'm gonna keep the park up to date so like if uh for sure yep 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 so when that happens i'm gonna work on it and then update the park file so if something becomes like under construction i'm gonna try and make it look like it's under construction too just for fun there we go i accidentally selected that and then we can add this down here it would be awesome. Dad? <laughs> huh? Noah. <laughs> is that Poa? I think it's Poa. Or is that Noah? Okay, <laughs> it's Poa. Uh, can we ride the rides? Um, yeah, oh, in a wow. little bit. I want to get some progress done, though. Um, I'm going to type this and send it. As much as I love showing off the park to you guys and getting to, showing you guys POVs, I still want to get progress done. That's the only thing with streams is... 
everyone wants to see everything, which I love showing you, showing it to you guys. I just got to um, get some work done as well, because I want to get this done so bad so I can get share it with you guys completely. Share it. The like, SDC recreation is awesome. You got to be down in the park, like exploring with oh, yourself yeah, to wait. really enjoy it. It's like, so I can't great. Wait. Like I really want to get a lot of it done. But yeah, we'll we'll ride some stuff. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for you guys. Just uh, this oh, little, dude, an outlaw run. Some, we're gonna there's get some supports. stuff. Done. Ooh, those supports on outlaw run are magical. Oh, my supports. <laughs> yes, yes. I <laughs> doubt they'd remove fire in the hole. To be honest, I would not doubt it. Actually, um, I I mean, there's a chance they won't, but it is very heavily rumored right now that they're gonna, like I said, they're gonna do a new version of it. Like, it will still have very similar theming. I, I don't know if the name's going to be the same or anything, but it's probably going to be much more updated and um, a new location. And I know that people would will riot when, when it shuts down, but um, they're really... If you haven't noticed, SDC's really trying to update a lot of the park uh, in different areas. So when Time Traveler... Uh, was built. They completely redid the path on Valley Road and redid that whole area. Not just added Time Traveler, they redid all of Valley Road. They tore down some old buildings, uh, some of the old um, uh, some of the old food places and uh, built some new ones. Um, and then over here when they redid or took out uh, Lost River and put in Mystic, um, they redid this entire path as well. So a lot of, like, if they can take out Lost River, which was a classic, it was a classic ride, they can easily have the ability to take out Fire in the Hole. I could see them doing it. Um, I, maybe a few years ago, I would say no way, but since they're starting to do it to their older rides uh, and updating their older rides, because a lot of people are upset. A lot of people are upset that they removed Lost River for Mystic. A lot of people are upset. I love Mystic. It's just very unreliable. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment so i hope they get it fixed uh, in the off season and yeah, it looks like they've been heavily working on it lately heavily because they've been testing the heck out of it uh, a few weeks ago uh, and we're running lots of cycles but we'll see uh joe yeah i got something really weird going on oh, you know yeah. the lights that i used in the the new area the hang, you know the string lights, the fairy lights. Mm -hmm. That's what. The, do you know the string lights that hang above the pathway on Backbeat Street? Uh, yes. Yeah, the string lights. Yeah, I can't find them in the game. I they're called fairy lights. I searched them up in scenery and building. I've had those. They're moments. not there. No, no, no. I I searched them like. No, that's what fairy. I'm saying. I've had those moments to where I'm just like, what the heck. <laughs> where are they yeah it's 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 not here no it's, it's just not here <laughs> they're, they're not here I... <sighs> what happened the name for know, these coasters but... are revolution lumberjack cliffhanger iron wolf and red devil those are some cool names dragon fire is a launch b and wing riptide is a b and floral oh cool um timber is a gci woody orbit is a mock uh spinning coaster and circus is a gersar your fighter nice did you um, like... Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. Um, so first is going to be Barn Swing. Um, it's rough as crap. What are you... Oh, wait, you're saying Barn Swing is rough? Wait, what? I was joking, but what are you working on? Um, we're working on the Riverfront Playhouse at Silver Dollar City. This is one of the theaters um, right across from Mystic River Falls. Uh, I wonder if they if they did replace Fire in the Hole, if it'd be similar to the original or new take like Fire Chaser Express. That's a good. Um, so if they removed Fire in the, if they uh, with the new version, um, I'm very curious of what manufacturer would come in and redo it, um, and if it would still be very family or family oriented, like not very big, or if they would actually add some really cool elements. I think so one of the big rumors is that the new version is going to feature a drop track of some sort. So, like, when you get onto the bridge scene where you where the first drop is on Fire in the Hole, I think one of the, the really cool things that would be cool if they'd used a drop track, like the bridge is collapsing. That would be cool. 
I could see that happening. Like I think a drop track's very possible in the new fire and the new version. Um, and I think that'd be really awesome. And I would totally prefer it over the old one. I know the old one's a classic, and I'm gonna be. I will be sad if it does close, but um, you know, it's it's out with the old, in with the new. I guess you know. You got Dollywoods. <laughs> yeah, you still got Blazing Fury. So Blazing Fury is actually a little bit more updated than Fire in the Hole. I think it's smoother. Yeah. When I say it's updated. I, when I say updated, I mean it's newer <laughs> than Fire in the Hole, because uh, it came after Fire in the Hole. So, <laughs> I think was it did it used to be called Fire in the Hole when Silver, when it, the park was called Silver Dollar City, Tennessee? Um, I, th- I think it was. I don't know. I'm not I think sure. It was because it was a. I figured the, it's literally mm-hmm. the track layout is actually exactly the same. So. Yeah, I figured out the problem <laughs> with. Um... The park. I didn't open it as a scenario editor, and I'm guessing when you made the scenario or the scenario, oh, yeah. you didn't you didn't allow the holiday stuff to be in the game or the in the park. <laughs> oh, you got yeah, you got to open it as a scenario. That's what I do every yeah. time. So yeah. I I usually save the park, and then when I go back to the file, I open as save or open as a new new scenario. That's why I, I always just do so, it. I was I was so excited. That to, could be it. Yeah. But that Steven, sprinkles Steven, good to see you here. We're, uh, I'm doing awesome. Um, that would actually be the coolest thing ever with the drop track. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, live right by Silver Dollar City, and I've been like ten times this year. Sweet. So, I'll... wait, no, Noah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. So that's not. Have Noah. you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. So maybe, I, maybe I've seen you. Pretty sure they have an Easter egg somewhere in Dollywood version to the old name. I know if you go into, like, uh, there actually is a spot that says some, like, you could see stuff that, like, over by the raft ride at Dollywood, there's actually a spot that says Geyser Gulch, and that is actually the, um, wha, wha, so before fire and, uh, Fireman's Landing, it, this area used to be Geyser Gulch before they tore it down. So that was kind of a nod to that. There was also the, I think, Flooded Mine was another thing, or somewhere in Dollywood that I saw. Like, I was like, hey, Flooded Mine. And there was actually a thing that said Silver Dollar City somewhere, too, I think. Um, so there's yeah, a lot of hints. Yeah, the Silver Dollar Mine. Yeah, the Silver, Dollar, Silver Dollar Mine. mine That's what it is. There's a, That's what it there's is. The, they share the story of the Flooded Mine. Which is cool. Like they've got... They've got the flooded mine there and everything. And I was showing my mom and my stepdad when we were in Dollywood. I was like, like I, I love oh, seeing those. Conne- I was like, I love seeing those connections between the parks. It's cool. <laughs> Mystic is rough as crap. So Mystic River Falls, um, it's it's aggressive. I'll give it that. <laughs> it throws you around a little bit. <laughs> Um, how many times have you been this year? Uh, yeah, I work there, so pretty much every day. <laughs> like, every day. Every day. <laughs> every day. Almost every day. I, I don't I have... I would enjoy it. <laughs> I would embrace it. Because you're waking up thinking, man, I gotta go to work and ride roller coasters today. That is part of the job. I do have to ride it every two hours. <laughs> it must be uh, nice uh, getting my reference photo here sweet okay so there's one in the center <laughs> here uh but i would talk about cliffhanger my Euro fighter real quick it was model off the original gersar Euro fighter um vile Sviven- i can't pronounce that <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> i don't even i've never heard of that though uh, I love the coaster parks, um, but I live in Australia. We don't have many coasters. Bummer. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, Australia. DC Rivals, man. I want to get on that's that true. so bad. <laughs> uh, DC Rivals and... Um, I know, oh, nice. man. Um, Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw. Ready for Ooh, Barn Swing. Barn, barn Swing is a good SNS Scream and Swing. It is fun. <laughs> oh, they got Leviathan coming that that gci or no mm. gravity group mm-hmm. australia i got some good stuff coming i would love that um what is your dream ride at sdc um mm, dream ride 
one ride I feel like the park could use that would just make me so happy. Let's... A mine ride. M mystery. It's got to be like a mystery mine type mystery ride. Mystery mine. Something similar to mystery mine. I love yeah. mystery mine so bad. Like, mystery mine, but better. Like, make it the uh, infinity model with the lap bars and everything. I swear. If and... they give if they give you a better version of mystery mine than I have, oh, I'm going to be so mad. <sighs> but, uh, I'm going to be there's... like... There's just no talks about it though, but they need one. <laughs> we we are rivals, Joe. Rivals. You, yeah, you have SDC, I got Dollywood, man. <laughs> uh I was actually thinking about doing a Dollywood recreation at some point just mm. to counter your SCC recreation. <laughs> Where do I work in Silver City? I am the team lead of Outlaw Run. So I am actually the lead of Outlaw Run, so I'm in charge of Outlaw Run. I'm the, I'm like what you would say, the manager of Outlaw Run. <laughs> not supervisor, more like a, well, not manager, I guess. Manager is even above supervisor. Um, more of a um, head person in charge, but <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, I do like the scheduling and stuff like that. And um, like make, make sure, lead? yeah, well, I'm a team lead. I make sure that the ride's moving, running smoothly. So I still work at the ride, and I just make sure the ride is uh, running smoothly. So I train people, I do all that stuff. Pretty sure I saw you at SDC earlier this week. You probably did, uh, probably at Outlaw. Because uh, that's, I don't think I've worked anywhere else lately uh, besides Outlaw, so. <clears throat> when you're uh, in leadership, you don't typically leave your ride. You're usually at the ride everywhere else you don't typically get cross-trained so um ready for barn swing <laughs> i need to speak the manager of outlaw run okay that's me <laughs> uh what did you help um uh wait did you help the people that were on it almost at the top of the chain lift um i i'm sure i did uh, at some point, I've 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 done evacs off the top of the chain lift. We did an evac the other day because we actually the park actually lost power on Thursday or was it Friday? Thursday, huh. Thursday or Friday, the park lost power and we had to do an evac. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. But I was on break when it happened, so I actually didn't do it. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I, I was, I was in the, the uh, I was in the break room and um, the lights turned off and I was like what the heck <laughs> and um, <laughs> just imagine me eating my my burger or my lunch and I'm just like eh. and then the lights just turned off for a few seconds and then turned back on and I was like oh I'm like I wonder if we lost power across park and I came back to the ride and they were doing an evac so I was like oh <laughs> nice <laughs> but we weren't like the only ones like every single ride went down at the same time oh okay it was like park wide huh. it was it was in, it was wow. nuts i really feel like i've seen you you probably have if you've been to silver Dollar city recently in the last eight years or in the last seven to eight years <laughs> um in 2018 i was actually the team lead of time traveler for one year uh the year that it opened um I got the honor to open up Time Traveler. That was a fun experience. Um, do you guys have Instagram for the channel? Uh, I do have an Instagram. However, I have not been on it in quite some time. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to beg you. You've got to be on Instagram. I do, need to get get, on. I do need to get more active on like social media stuff. I'm, I'm really bad about it. I, I've tried to get a little more active on the Facebook page. A little bit more. Um, I need to get more active on Twitter, and I need to get active on um, Instagram as well. Like I have one, but I just have not done it that much. But I need to. Um, I, that is that's going to be a New Year's resolution for me, I guess, <laughs> for the channel. <laughs> <laughs> be more active on social media. There you go. <laughs> Barn swing. Now, what do you want to do? Ride the barn swing in the in here? Is that what you're trying to say, Jackson? I, I'm guessing that's what you want. You want me to ride the barn swing? 
but I can't tell because you keep saying something about Barnes. <laughs> I have to get back to work. Oh, all right, see you, Stephen. Thanks for, for thanks for jumping in. Hopefully, if you, you heard me. <laughs> Instagram coaster community is the best. Red Devil is a mock hyper with a professional Daredevil theme and three inversions. Nice. So you want a POV of Barn Swing. Okay. Who are we getting a POV? POV of Barn Swing. <laughs> a, barn, a barn Swing? Wow. Wilson's Farm, Giant Barn Swing. Let me get these That's posts done one. real quick. Place these down. Mm-hmm. Life is simple on a farm, on a farm. Life is simple on a farm. Life is simple on a farm. Bum, bum. Life is simple okay. when you're working real hard. It's one of the songs that plays with the barn swing. It's stupid. Okay. I was getting worried about you for a second. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> it is a dumb song. That's actually the song that I put in the area. It actually plays in here. I don't know if it's copyrighted, so I don't know if I want to play it. <laughs> oh, okay. Which side do you want to be on? Outlaw Run side or Mr. River Fall side? I always run on Mr. River Fall side. Mr. River we'll Fall side. We'll let the viewers choose. Oh, here's I, the. I mean, well, not well. It wasn't really Mystic River Falls when I was there, but whenever I was there and I rode Barnstormer. Barnstormer everyone in the swinger. Everyone, you want this side, or should we go this side, this side, or this side? Mystic side. Okay, we're gonna go on this side then. Yay, Mystic side. Mystic side all the way. Everyone's agreeing on the Mystic side. So uh, we'll we'll wait for this to go. I gotta. I don't know if I want to play the audio because I don't want to get copyrighted for "Life Is Simple on the Farm." <laughs> See, that's what yeah, I gotta be careful well, with. Be safe. I gotta be careful with YouTube because I can't have any copyrighted stuff playing. So. That's the one thing with Twitch. Like, I don't care if I have copyrighted music playing because I get most of my uh, revenue from, like, uh, bits and stuff, not anything else. Yeah. The next RRV episode will come out um, probably not too long because we've been hard at work at it lately. So We have been. We've, we're, we're trying to get one more episode out before the new year. Yeah, well, definitely sometime this month for sure, if not more than one. You never know because we've been... We've been hardcore. we've been grinding. We've been grinding, because we we gotta we're gonna be grinding a lot this off season, a lot. Like I'm actually in it right now. Like <laughs> is the ride closed? Um, that's a good question. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> we're going as soon as we say that. I was about to exit out to check, and here we go. <laughs> I'll be your sound effects. That's beautiful, Joe. That's beautiful. Wow. Such beauty. <laughs> the sound effects of an SNS scream and swing. You know, that looks pretty accurate, though, the views that we're getting on the giant swing. Not gonna lie. Like, looking back and you see that little backstage road that leads down. Mm hmm. Like, pretty accurate, and you see the hilo silos to the right. 10 out of 10 sound effects. Sweet. Thanks. I, I try real hard. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with this area, too, which is nice. With uh, Barn Swing and Outlaw Run. There might be a couple small things I need to touch up, but um, for the most part, the path is done, and uh, pretty much the ride's pretty much done. Uh, it looks awesome. Very epic beautiful just everything you can think of so if you hit the e-stop on one of these things um it cuts power and the arms will just keep swinging until they lose momentum <laughs> and they'll just swing for like ever <laughs> until they finally really? stop on their own yeah there's no braking or anything like so if you e-stop it it just it just like swings forever <laughs> Which makes me think, like, when would you ever want to use that? 
you probably want to hit ride stop where it would just stop the ride. <laughs> wow. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of this. I can't wait to get Mystic's area done, and then it kind of blends in with the area pretty nice and beautifully. So, um, and then of course we got Outlaw Run over here, which is popping. It always gets a long line in the game, which is awesome, with a functional Trailblazer Pass entrance as well. Which is also cool. And then, of course, my custom supporting on some sections that I'm very proud of. Some of my best custom support work right here. Yeah, this is an in-game support, auto-generated supports. These are my supports that I made. Look at those. Very, very... What coast are you talking about? At Lauren. Oh, gosh, yes. My, my custom supports that I made on them. Oh, gosh, yes. And then, of course, the wave turn. Oh, I, the, I've never been so proud of an element that I, I've made, except for maybe the barrel roll on this ride that I made. <laughs> but these supports right here, the, the shaping of the wave turn right here, it's it's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you ride it? Of course we can ride it. Oh, yeah. Just give me a sec. I'm, I'm just, just kind of showcasing here. <laughs> and look at this barrel roll. Ooh. Look at that double the double barrel roll. It's amazing. The the smoothness on it, the shaping that I got on it. I'm so proud of it. I've never made a roll so good in Planet Coaster than right here in this area. It's like the the defining moment of my coaster career. My Planet Coaster career. <laughs> Ah, uh, I guess we're doing career. my career. We we do have to do this one with sound effects because the you got to hear the custom lift audio and stuff if you haven't already. Um, I don't think we can hear the music from down there, so I think we're safe from that. Yeah, we can't hear the music from here, so we're good. Welcome, pioneers. Y'all need to sell all loose articles. And, and that, that means, means hats, hats, cell phones, phones cameras, keys, keys and, and change. change. Watch, Watch your step as you board the stagecoach. When you're all comfy in your, in your seat, seat with, with your feet, feet on, the on the floor and, and your back, back against the seat back, back. Go, go ahead, ahead and buckle your seat belt. belt. Our, Our stagehands will let you know when to pull down your restraint. During your journey, keep your hands and feet inside the stagecoach at all times. It's going to be a wild ride. Yeah, we'll do wildfire. Since since you want to ride wildfire. Actual lift audio from Outlaw Run, by the way. Beautiful. custom catwalk all the way down the drop too. Uh, 153 degree outside bank turn. A left bank, pop and right bank. Airtime galore. Banking heavily under the lift. Now it's time for the wave turn. Another quick hop. And the double barrel roll. Oh, that double barrel roll. It's so good. <laughs> that was a the close, close call, call, folks. Think that would, would still be chasing, chasing us if Marshall Wide hadn't cornered them back there. Back there. Here at Silver, Silver Dollar City, City the good guys always win. win. It's beautiful. Oh, I can hear some of the music, so hopefully... Hopefully we're okay there. <laughs> some of that music, uh, I think, is copyrighted in the Outlaw Run area. <laughs> Man, I just love... The, look, look at look at Outlaw Run from this angle. Whew. It's beautiful. It's a beauty. I think I did a great job. Like, I'm so proud of it. One of my proudest recreations. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Um, isn't there someone like 6,000 rides on this? I remember reading it somewhere. So yeah, Dirk, his name's Dirk. He is, uh, he's ridden this thing. He's actually working closer to 7,000 now. He's at 6,700 something right now. Um, he holds the record for most rides in one day as well at 117 rides in one day on Outlaw Run. Ooh. He rode it 117 nice. times in one day. In one day, huh? Yeah. Um, I rode with him on his 6,000th ride. Because hmm. I was just because we always do that with the crew. Uh, yeah, we're don't worry, dude. So now we got to do wildfire powder keg, and I got to ride them all. <laughs> it's okay. All right, I'm gonna step out for just a second. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. This is wildfire. Wildfire, I haven't done really much detail on. The layout's done and everything. I've worked a little bit here in the station and stuff. Um, a tiny bit here in the station, but that's about it. Um, I did very few custom... I did a couple of custom supports on the lift, but that's it. With the chain lift return. That's about all I've done, and I have the custom lift audio. Um, and then the building, again, I just have not done much over here just yet. So... So yeah. <clears throat> there we got custom lift audio for wildfire as well, which um, is glitching out. Oh, it's glitching out majorly. There it goes. Custom audio likes to glitch out sometimes. Custom b and lift audio. It's actually from Wildfire as well, the lift audio. All the lift hill audio is authentic to the real life things, so. Ghost King, what's up? How you doing? And I put trims on the ride where there's actually trims in real life. Vertical loop. And then a twist into the Cobra Roll. And then we go into our corkscrew and into our final turn. So that is wildfire. Do I have twisted Colossus? I have not built Twisted Colossus, and that's in Magic Mountain. Um, but no, I have not built it, or I'm sure there's a recreation of it, but I haven't built it personally. Um, just take the trims off. <laughs> hey, you gotta be realistic. There's trims right before the Cobra Roll, and then there's trims at the bottom of the first drop. And they don't really, I have them set to where they don't really do anything, just uh, on, on Wildfire, you can't really fill them anyways, like they don't really do much, like, on Wildfire. Like, they they hardly trim it at all, um, I think, on Wildfire. Like, you don't even feel any um, any uh, pull on it, so. But that, that looks cool. Just to think, this, this ride has barely even been touched either. Like, I haven't even done much to this yet. All I've done is custom supports on the lift hill and part of the drop, and then... A little bit in the station and the layout. That's pretty much all I've done over here so far. Is the tree line the border? Yes. So this this was built on the very edge of the map, and I was very nervous to fit get this to fit in, but I just got it to fit in just enough. Um, unfortunately, it's right on the border, so I can't. So I have to, this awkward like lift up. I am not a big fan when people do their recreations and have that awkward um border wall with the with just like a straight wall 90 degree wall i hate that i try to blend it in as best as i can on the edge because i just do not like that so um the only bad part is you don't get that view of the lake like you do in real life there's actually a lake back there um i almost feel like maybe i could have used the deciduous map because there's a is a lake in the background so 
If I could get it to where the lake's on that side, I don't know if the lake would be on that side. Where's the front of the park? So I think the front of the park... Of the, the front of the map, I think, is right here. So the lake is down there. I don't know. We might we might switch maps. Um, I don't know how well that would work because I would have to smooth it out. But maybe when I'm all finished, I'll try it. Don't know if that would work. <clears throat> but anyways, going over here to Powder Keg. This was the tricky one. Very tricky one. I got all custom audio here. On the lift also has custom audio. This um, uh, is completely custom supported. Every single support you're seeing is custom. Um, except for maybe the brake run, I think. Oh, no, I did the brake run too. Never mind. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of pieces. That's why it's kind of freezing it up when I clicked on that. 28,016 pieces on the, on the supports. It's a lot. <laughs> So I even have the switch over to the Buzzsaw Falls track. So you have the SNS track, and then when it switches over to the Buzzsaw Falls track. Because remember, this ride was converted from a premier water ride, or premier liquid coaster, into a SNS launch coaster. And then, of course, we have the custom audio for Powder Cake's lift as well. And this... Uh, Chain or this uh, catwalk here was custom made by Misty's. Misty's is awesome for creating that for me because so credit goes to Misty's for that. So Misty's is going to be a contributor to the park um, because of that. So definitely going to put Misty's in that contributor when I post it on the workshop. So. But little bits and details, I even got the old uh, water trough of the um, kind of like a little water way of the old Buzzsaw Falls ride. You can hear fire in the hole in the background. Um, so basically, Wildfire has, or Powder Keg has a transfer track here in real life, like a, a transfer that moves you up there. Couldn't do that in real life with the uh, limitations of Planet Coaster, so I made a hidden track that goes underneath that gets you up to that point. Um, yep, yeah, uh, Powder Keg does have a lot of good airtime, like a lot of good floater airtime um, with those SNS restraints. So you can see it dips underneath. And feet inside the thing at all times. <laughs> that area is restricted. You smell smoke. Uh, I'm really proud of Powder Keg. Got the fire when it launches. Really good. Um, so, also, the way I also did Powder Keg's track, so I could do the switch over between the two track types here. So, this Buzzsaw Falls track is the actual track that I used, and I used the infinite track. So I could have the flat track available to me. Um, and basically what I did is I traced it with the SNS style track. That way when we get to the switch over here, um, I could switch over from SNS track to the Buzzsaw Falls track. Oh, Jackson, you're not feeling well? That sucks. Um, hopefully you feel better, man. <clears throat> Sorry to hear that. We'll see you soon, man, and uh, go uh, go take care of yourself. Can we try? It? Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna ride. But yeah, but I retraced it, and it is pretty awesome. So here we are, right on the launch track. So that's perfect. So, um, I didn't necessarily, like, completely switch to YouTube. I'm still going to be doing Twitch. Um, I'm currently working on a way to stream on both at the exact same time. 
Misty's is the man. I'm in another project with him as well. Sweet. Yeah, Misty's is awesome. Misty's makes a lot of good stuff, and really appreciate Misty's for helping me with that custom uh, catwalk. Really starting to shape up. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really trying to get a lot done. I gotta get motivated. I want I want to finish this uh, project so bad. A lot, but that custom catwalk, that's all Misty's right there. Did such an amazing job on it. I mean, anytime I see Misty's posting like projects and uh, photos and stuff, I'm just like blown away. And I'm just like, geez, that's amazing, you know? Also helped me with a project. <laughs> See, Misty's is, Misty's is awesome, man. And he's like, well, always willing to help out with other people's projects and stuff, so. And then I kind of copied his uh, catwalk over here a little bit, kind of reused it. What other roller coasters you got? So this is, again, Powder Keg. Um, I haven't gone over yet, all of them, so we got Wildfire over here. Um, again, this is a recreation of Silver Dollar City. Um, yeah, Wildfire over here, which is one of the most incomplete spot parts of the park so far. Um, we got Outlaw Run, which is completely done um, with all my custom supporting. I did custom audio, did everything over here, and the whole area is practically done. Complete with real announcements. And we got the brake run audio and everything. You have Thunderation, so I do have Thunderation, but it is very underdeveloped. I'm doing custom supports on Thunderation, so um, it's not really. Um, by the way, here's Mystic River Falls so far. Um, working on it. Um, this is what I've been working on a lot lately: is Mystic River Falls and starting to work on this road a bit. Uh, today we've been working on the Riverfront Playhouse right here. That's what I've been trying to work on today. Um, so Mystic River Falls starting to come along nicely as well. <clears throat> so moving over here to the other side. So obviously Thunderation we haven't done much to. Um, I did do a lot at one point, but I redid a lot of the track work. So I had to delete all the custom supporting that I did do. Um, so I have to redo it again. I do have custom lift audio for it too. Oh, we're hitting an auto save, so that's going to mess it up. No water slides. There are no water slides in Silver Dollar City, so no. <clears throat> so this is not, this is a recreation of a real park, um, by the way, if you didn't know. So the Silver Dollar, Silver Dollar City is a real park in Branson, Missouri, in uh, the U.S. Let's get that auto save to finish up. There it goes. All right. That's Thunderation. And of course, we have Time Traveler. Which I have not done too many custom supports on it. I still gotta do some custom supports for it. Which is in a mock extreme spinning coaster. Just recently, we were able to uh, achieve spinning cars on, on the track, so that's nice. And of course, we have the custom audio for it as well for its soundtrack and stuff. It's beautiful. I mean, we can ride Thunderation if you want. And we got Time Traveler, which turned out really good. I even have a lot of the interior done for it as well. So we head down into here. It's not completely done, but I got a lot of it done in here. Even got the windows looking out at the ride, which looks amazing, by the way. And we head up here to the second floor of the queue. We got some more windows. It's a little bit more theming uh, stuff down here. And you head up to the third floor, which I still need to work on a lot, but... Answers my mod question. Yes, I did put the mods in. Yes, I am using mods. Or I am using mods on it, so. Windows look 
photorealistic. They do look really nice, like... I will say that. They do look nice. Ah. Got the start of Echo Hollow. I need to finish it up, which is the amphitheater out here. And then we have the start of Expo over here, Grand Expo. I haven't done much with it. Just a little bit, like Grand Expo Coaster. Uh, um, we've got, um, this is going to be um, Electra Spin. We've got Royal Tea Party, Mighty Galleon, Wave Carousel, the magnificent Wave Carousel, um, and all that. So, And then we've got Flooded Mine. Which, if you don't know what Flooded Mine is, it's kind of like this little boat ride, and you have to shoot tar you shoot targets and stuff, and you get the high scores. Very classic ride. I think it's been at Sword City since the 60s, 70s, somewhere around there. Late 60s, early 70s. Can't remember the exact opening day of or opening year of it, but all right, we'll ride Time Traveler. Got to go seat view because we want the spinning. So. The spinning's not quite, um, uh, quite accurate to the real life counterpart, but <laughs> that queue has too many people. If you're talking about, um, for, uh, Flooded Mine, yes. I don't know why it's so popular in the game for the, the, the get guests for some reason. They love Flooded Mine for some reason. <laughs> Wish I rode Lock Flume. It had a 45 minute wait. 1960s went. Did Flooded Mine open with the park? Because the park, or Silver Dollar City opened in 1960. Did it open with the park, really? I didn't think it was that old. I mean, it could be. Is the Flooded Mine really 60 years old now? Dang. I'm gonna go after this over to uh, <laughs> According to Wiki, yes. Huh, interesting. I knew it was one of the oldest rides there. I didn't know it was the oldest ride there, along with the train. Fire in the, I know Fire in the Hole opened in 72. I do know that. And I knew that it was sometime in the 60s when it opened. For, uh, for Flooded Mine. And American Plunge used to be Jim Owen's float trip. And then they con I think they kind of converted it into American Plunge. Very spinny. Yeah, it's not that spinny in real life. But we got spinning cars on it at least. That ride can get people sick. Well, in real life, it doesn't spin that much. It's just kind of weird in Planet Coaster. The physics are kind of kind of wonky, I think, with the spinning coaster in Planet Coaster. So it's kind of weird. But um, all right, see you, Jackson. I hope you feel a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, I thought I thought. It may have been like 1968, but I mean, it could have been 1960. You might be right there. I just don't know for sure. I know the steam train opened. Uh, it's probably the oldest ride there. And then Flooded Mine, and then those are the two oldest rides there. Fire in the Hole was 1972, so it's really old too. Um, uh, love SDC. This is a beautiful recreation. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've been working hard at it lately, trying to get it done. I really want to get it done. Um, I still got a long ways to go, but <clears throat> I even want to get the cave in there. Um, I got the entrance to the cave right here, so I actually have the cave started. <laughs> so that'll be that'll be interesting when I get all that done. Uh, here's the main square, trying to get it done, or eventually I'll get that done. I did a lot on Valley Road at one point over here. 
with Time Traveler. I did work on Time Traveler a lot. And then Outlaw Run is the most completed area that I've got so far. With all the audio. And then, of course, I did custom supporting on it. The whole area is just looking nice. Looking nice. Yeah, I could have swore Flooded Mine was 1968, so I'm not sure. Don't forget the spiral uh, potato dog stand. Yes! Uh, I believe that is right over here. Uh, right next to the Frisco barn. I actually think I already placed it. Yeah, this little stall right here. I think that's one of them. I think it's either there or right here. At is that a tater patch or is it right next to the Frisco barn? I can't remember. I or do they have them at both? It might be Tater Pat. I thought they were right here. I'm pretty sure they're right here next to the Frisco Barn. Outlaw Run is a wild ride. And if you didn't know, I actually work at Outlaw Run. Um, I'm the team lead over there. Uh, so I work at Silver Dollar City. <clears throat> in case you didn't know. so I've got a little bit of in insider experience, so I know the park very well. <clears throat> Next to Frisco Barn. I think I put a uh, little Fritz. Mostly, or, or yeah, these guys. Because the, there's not really anything close to it. Um, unless I put a hot dog stand in there. Which I decided to go with the little potato frit things. These are pretty much like french fries or something in game. It's too, ba uh, it's too bad we don't have the actual actual stand in that, that we can. I'll be starting on Mystic soon. Yeah, Darren, I'd like to see what you're, uh, what you do for Mystic. I've been working on it a little bit lately, so that's looking quite nice. I remember I started this little seating area, started working on it a bit, started building these walls around the channel. Getting the Burlandia project. Uh, working on the grit mill at the moment. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, I've been working on trying to get the Riverfront Playhouse uh, more complete because this is, um, I got, went and got a ton of reference photos here of the um, one morning. The other morning, I just went in and took as many pictures as I could of this place. to That way I could work a lot on it and get this building done. Because uh, I kind of want to do it in section. I want to start doing each building at a time, you know? Uh, which will be cool. Probably gonna take me a lot longer than it did with you did. <laughs> uh, exterior shots. Uh, do you want you want shots of of Riverfront Playhouse? Is that what you're wanting? Uh, my dad still remembers before Fire in the Hole got shortened and remembers the death of Fire in the Hole. See, I I don't know that I. That's such a myth. I don't know whether to believe it or not because I've heard it, it's just everywhere. There's so many different versions of the story that I don't know what actually happened. I heard that it was a worker, I heard it was a guest, I heard that the train accidentally went into a um, maintenance area for some reason, uh, something like that, um, and that story has been, like, was such a big myth, uh, or legend, I guess you could say, that I just don't know what the actual story is. Because I, I hear all about, I've hear, heard so many different s versions of that story. Uh, I got to run. Um, look, oh gosh, uh, Gunner. Hi. <laughs> I guess Gunner's back. <laughs> Looking forward to the next update. All right, see ya, man. Uh, everything, you can put them in ideas and updates for Gold Rush. But I got a lot of pictures of um, Riverfront Playhouse, so... And I got uh, some of the uh, paths as well I'm going to work on. So what do I still need to do? Man, I scared you so bad. <laughs> I, was, I just rewatched it on the stream. I was not expecting you to pop in there like that. That's great. That is great. That is great. That is it's the only deaths that ever happen at STC as far as I've heard. Same here. Like, as far as I've heard. And, again, to me, it's just a myth because I've heard so many different versions of the story. So who knows if it's even true. No, there wouldn't have been a death in Silver Dollar City. No way. I was like, besides that, that I've heard, I've never heard of any um, deaths at Silver Dollar City. I don't think there's ever been a death, or ever will be a death at Silver Dollar City. 
We are very good at um, safety. <laughs> very, very, uh, very strict on safety. Yeah. <clears throat> When do you predict this whole project will be on? I don't know. I mean, I've gotten so many questions of that. I once had a goal of finishing it this year. That's not going to happen. So I would love sometime next year. That's my goal, I guess, now. Do you have Wildfire and Thunderation? I do have Thunderation, but it is very naked over here. with no. I'm doing custom <laughs> supports for it, so um, it's just... It's sad. It's very naked. <laughs> Um, and yeah, Wildfire's over here. It's also very uh, underdeveloped, too. Those are the two coasters that are very underdeveloped at this point. That I haven't done much. Very underdeveloped. It's going to be epic once it's done. I know. I just want to. That's why I'm really focused on trying to do one spot at a time. And at this point, I just want to finish Riverfront Playhouse and kind of start getting this road finished. And slowly working on um, Mystic as well. Start getting Mystic done. Which, it doesn't have too much more. Um, I don't think it'll take too much longer for Mystic. Um, you just gotta get the queue all situated and all the rock work and uh, all the extra stuff like that. And it will be looking quite nice. And um, just get the pathing all done here. Well, we'll work on Riverfront here. And then I'll work on some of these buildings just over here, which won't be too hard. Then we're gonna really probably heavily work on Fireman's Landing. I've lightly worked on it, but not much. Is this before or after COVID? I don't know. It's just it's just a recreation. So, I mean, with the crowds, I would say, um, uh, no, <laughs> just no. <laughs> it does not exist. <laughs> it's video games, but it doesn't exist. <laughs> We just eliminate it from everything because it just, it just doesn't exist in this world. We're just going to go with that. It doesn't exist. And and hopefully it won't last too much longer because <laughs> it's, it's a very sad, it's so sad being in a theme park and like everything, like you can't just talk to anybody anymore. Everything's all boarded up and it's just like sucks, but you know, whatever, we'll get through it. So. I'm not seeing many hand sanitizing station in this recreation. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'd be correct on that. You're not. You're. I guess you're not seeing too many. Uh oh, Joe, you're gonna get canceled. I'm gonna get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to shut the park down and and everything. Can't run it anymore. Can't Man. build it. Can't keep building without the hand sanitizer. I'm gonna pause so we don't, uh, so I can grab some frames back while I build. <laughs> grab some frames back. Get, get some. Is your park really already at that stage? Well, I get around 20, 15 to 20 frames a second right now. Oh. So it's not great. <laughs> wow. Uh, How many frames is Road River Valley? Um, there are a lot of hand sanitizers, like, hand sanitizers all over the park, actually. Like, just the, just hand sanitizer spots where they have them in a little holder. Like, everywhere. Oh, what, what did you ask? Did you ask something? Me? Yeah, I thought you, did you? Oh, yeah, how many, do you know how many, uh, frames Red River Valley is right now? Um, it's roughly about the same, like, 15 to 20 frames. Oh, really? Mm hmm Around there. Man. This park's going downhill. <laughs> Pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, so... That's why we have the cinematic videos where I can really get nice, smooth footage. Oh, yeah. You guys um, better prepare and, and, for that cinematic video. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. I already got a cinematic. <laughs> I already got a cinematic video for Super Dollar City, so. Is that the Outlaw Run one? Yeah, the Outlaw Run one. Yeah. All right, I need to make the bathroom front here. The bat. We gotta make some bathrooms. 
just do it. Let's go. I'm gonna make the bathrooms. I'm making some right now in River Valley. Look at those bathrooms right there. That's what we're gonna build. It's gonna be on a separate grid piece because it's actually diagonal to this part right here, so. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, da, na, 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 da. All right, so I'm just gonna build this front part of of it, and then we're just going to um, move it where where we need to. That's how we're gonna play this out. So this is kind of like a bluish green color. So let's go in between blue and green here. Uh, <laughs> Good? Man, yeah, autosave is killing me. Ah, uh, autosave. <laughs> autosave, oh, it's back, yay. I was just at SCC a couple weeks ago to see the light show for Christmas. It was beautiful. They do have some good lights. <clears throat> what does your hair smell like? Uh, co uh, my shampoo is like coconut something. Very odd question, but I'll answer it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess. <laughs> Kicking this stream off nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong, wrong texture. Let's. This is the one I need. I swear that would be Poa, but. Ha ha ha. Bam. Ba ba da 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 da. <laughs> right, this is kind of a lighter blue here. Yeah, there we go. That, that looks that looks pretty accurate to the real thing. And then there's kind of like a little balcony here, so we'll put uh, this wall a little further back. These are like huge bathroom front here it's just it's just like bathrooms here riverfront bathrooms restrooms right here you gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> here you go it's a big building right here big big building so you can go to the bathroom the bathroom <laughs> The bathroom. Y'all wanna give them them bathrooms? <laughs> yeah, them bathrooms here in America. America. Mm. Will you include the new ride they just built? I'm glad you asked, because it's all right over here. I'm actually in the process of building it right now. Whenever time travel closes all the time, what is usually wrong with it? It doesn't... It, Opening year, it went down quite a bit, but it doesn't go down too often anymore. I know a lot of the times it had a lot of overspeeds faults, which means the uh, the train hit the uh, launch too quickly. Like it would hit the launch run a little bit fast, so it would fault the ride out. Uh, I've seen that happen quite a few times when I worked there. Um, I was that was a uh, one of the things we had happen quite often. As for the other issues with it, um, man, it was like two years ago when I worked there, so it's kind of hard to remember. It was a, it was a new ride, so it had its, uh, had its times where it didn't want to run very properly. <laughs> Powder cake Jeez, always goes down. Two years. Powder keg, I feel like powder keg's been a lot more reliable than it used to be, though. Like, it hasn't gone down too often this year. As far as I know. I mean, I don't hear it go down that, that much, except for, like, rain and stuff. It always goes down. It goes down for rain, so... Anytime it rains, it goes down. But for, like, maintenance issues, I've never really... I don't really hear it go down that often anymore. 
It used to go down a lot. Like, I know what you mean, but... <laughs> Wish it went down before I got in. <laughs> I've been evac off of Powder Keg before. When I was little, when it first opened. I think that was the first coaster I ever got evac off of. I also got, I've been evac off of Wildfire, but that was a uh, planned evac because it was a mock evacuation. I've been evac off of Fire in the Hole, which was also a mock evacuation. I've been evac off of Outlaw Run, just naturally before. Because <laughs> I, I have to ride it so often. When I was in line for Wildfire, it broke down. Then when I got in line for Powder Gig, it also broke down. And then when I went, then I went to Wildfire, went back up. It was very frustrating. That does sound frustrating, man. That's just bad luck. My little sister loves the dog here. So, oh, at Fireman's Landing, little uh, Lucky's Dizzy Dogs. Those are actually really fun. I've ridden on those multiple times, and they just kind of little bounce up and down. It's a fun little tiny ride. <laughs> What was your favorite ride at SDC before Outlaw Run and Time Travelers? So those are my top two rides. I would have to say it's either Powder Keg or Wildfire before them two. Um, very close between those two, but I think I like Wildfire just a little bit more. It's very close. So I don't know. They're very hard to choose from because I like the uniqueness and airtime on Powder Keg. Powder Keg's got really good... Uh, floater airtime like you're just you're just floating because there's no seat belt and you just have that SNS scream and swing restraint which is bizarre to have on a roller coaster um, and you just get lifted out of your uh, uh, seat a lot on it and it's so so really really good like I feel like powder keg is underrated at times so I do like I do, I do like powder keg and Wildfire is a pretty good B&M sit down. And for it's aged really well too. Like it doesn't really mu really have little to no rattle at all I think on Wildfire. Like it's still really smooth. <clears throat> Fire in the Hole will always be my favorite just because of nostalgia and it'll be in my first coaster ever. I mean, yeah. It was it's, it's definitely a classic. So if they actually remove it, like the rumors say, it is going to be a little heartbreaking, but I think there's better things to come if that does happen. Also, the rumor is when they do tear down Fire in the Hole, the rumor is that that, set, that area is going to be used for a new... Uh, since the, the new Fire in the Hole is going to be over by um, Fireman's Landing, the rumor is that the... Uh, old location will be a new train station to help. It will be uh, able to handle the bigger crowds for the steam train. It will be a new uh, steam train station. Alright, Joe. I'm heading off to bed, man. Oh, you are? Yeah. You're going to leave early. me. Yeah. I got school. School. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. But, but I got you've, to. you've got to hang out with me. Tomorrow. Oh, but what about now? Yeah. This moment. This moment. Nah, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta discipline myself, man. No. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I gotta. I'm tired. I'm really tired. I, I'd love to well, stay up. Well, wake up. I can't. I can't. Wake man. up. Man. All right, well, you, uh, hope you all have a fun stream. Yeah, very fun. And, uh, I will see you guys later. See ya. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Okay. All right, good night. Good night. How about them Chiefs? I know it was a really a lot closer game than I thought it would be. That is for sure. Was not expecting it to be that close. But a W is a W no matter how, how they get it, so. 
Bro ledge. Beef, uh, knowledge. Wait, what? I don't even. I don't even know what that. What, you, what that means. Dun dun. this up here with the uh, different color here because this needs to be kind of the uh, darker tone of down there yeah that's the one that be that that would be the one hmm I almost got it Some of these are hard to place sometimes. Wait, what? Aw, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. You're gonna troll me like that, huh? Did I still not get that in the right... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my word. Oh, I can't put it in the wrong place because right place because it's in the wrong place. Ah, oh, dang it! All right, I'm gonna have to like manually move each one. Which one's better, Lost River or Mr. Gurra Falls? A very good question. I don't know. Oh, having to choose between the two. So the clear winner to me would be Mr. Grover Falls if it still had a cave indoor indoor cave section like Lost River did. The um the V lift is cool, the drop is okay, but the main part I love Mystic's rapid sections cuz it's very aggressive. It's a very aggressive rapids ride and I love it um for that reason. But it just has so many missed opportunities when it comes to theming, you know? It's themed to the Mystic River Passage and Marvel Cave. And there's no cave section. There's nothing really much about Marvel Cave in it. And that's, that's where it misses its opportunity, in my opinion. The fact that there's no indoor section like Lost River had. I loved Lost River when you went into the cave and it had the, the heart-thumping effect the dun 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 the red flashing lights it was really cool um but if it had that in mystic river falls i would say easily mystic river falls um lost river was a classic and like i said i think the drop in v lift is just more of a gimmick more than anything it doesn't add too much to the ride. The rapid section, by far, is the best part of Mr. River Falls. Um, it's not the drop. The drop is just kind of... It's just like a sli small slide, you know? It doesn't feel fast. You don't gain much speed on it. You're just kind of... Wee. And you don't even get that wet on the splashdown. The, most, the biggest part you get... The part where you get most wet on is actually right before you go into the tunnel... And that is, there's a little uh, rapid section right here that just soaks you. And that's the part where you get most uh, soaked on. Man, I really want to say Mystic River Falls. I, I don't want to force saying that just because it's new and um, big and, and everything like that. It's, big, it's supposed to be bigger and better. Um, it just has that missed opportunity. It's just so good. But there's just that one part of it that's missing. You know what I mean? Uh, Grandfather's Mansion actually is still there. Um, it is still there. It's not open this year because of um, the pandemic, but it's uh, but it is still there. Um, but a lot of the indoor stuff is actually closed right now. Um, but yeah, it's still there. Not sure if you're asked this, but what is your favorite ride at SDC? Um, so uh, definitely uh, Outlaw Run is my favorite. Uh, I could honestly go without the elevator lift and elevated portion of the ride. I, I if they took it out, I wouldn't really care that much, to be honest. But it, it's it was for the record stuff, and so they could have that the tallest drop on a raft ride in the Western Hemisphere. It, it was for marketing. That's pretty much what it was for. Um, and it's the reason that this ride has so much downtime is mainly this vertical lift. It's the reason why the ride goes down so much. So, 
Hopefully they fix the bugs out of it. Um, going into next season, I hope. I also feel like the drop was a missed opportunity. A little bit. I feel like they could have done more with the drop as well. Could have been a little bit steeper. Yeah, but they're they're really marketing it towards families as well, like a family ride. Um, that because a lot of people are upset that it has a drop to begin with. That's why a lot of people were upset that they removed Lost River because now it has a big tall drop and they don't want to ride it because they're scared of heights. <laughs> even though even if you're scared of heights, you can ride this ride. It's not scary at all on the on the lift or anything. Um, even when you're this high up, you don't really feel like you're 80 feet in the air like like it actually is, you know? Because you can't really look over the edge. You're inside the boat, so... Or in the raft, so... You can't really even look over the edge. You can't really look down or anything. So it's not really scary in any way, and it's definitely a family ride. But I have to say, those rap that rapid section is very aggressive. It throws you around a lot, and I think they've done some tweaking to kind of help with that because there was a lot of people actually hitting themselves on the railing part inside the raft um and they actually put padding on that <laughs> because so many people were hitting themselves um but there's a couple spots where because it just it's just aggressive and hits those walls real hard and it really r throws you around a lot so i feel like what they should have done is made the the waterway a little bit wider because it hits those walls a lot uh, with a lot of force, too. Uh, I don't know. I'm no engineer, so I don't know if that if that makes any sense or, or, or at all, or anything, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get these restrooms in. So I'm gonna put real restrooms in here. Real functioning restrooms. Toilets. And we're just gonna put them on the side, I think, here. Like so. So one is the men's side, one's the women's side. And that's how it works. Like that. But yeah, I want to get this building. This is a very complex building. It's really big. It's a lot to it, so... As long as we get a majority of it done tonight, I'd be pretty happy. I'd be pretty happy with that. Pretty, pretty happy. All right, let's go ahead and get back. And I'm going to get the riverfront sign on top here. Um, there's not too much detailing going on here. It's fairly, fairly simple. So let me see if I can find the right sign. Let's go. I think it's under MISC signs. The one I'm looking for, there's one that will fit this pretty perfectly. Like, it's just perfect for this spot. And yeah, it's this. That's a little big. We might use the small. Yeah, let's use a smaller one. It's actually kind of reversed, but that's okay. We could reverse it and just put, put it on like a different sign. That could work, but... Um, one of my favorite things is the story about fire in the hole with the bald numbers. It's so weird, and since it's uh, an only an Ozark thing, it's super cool in an odd way. Yep. Uh, it's a really dark theme, too, when you really think about it, and it's awesome. You know. Very much dark. Very dark. Yeah. Riverfront. All right, let's make the text darker here. Actually, it's a blue. It's kind of a dark blue. That's what it actually is. And then it's outline. I think it's white. Kind of keep it where it's at right now. Yeah, it looks good. I think that, that looks pretty... Like with the sign and everything, that's looking looking pretty solid, I think. We just need to get the uh, railings up on the balcony part um, and just a few minor details here and there. But that's looking pretty solid so far. Uh, I gotta get that little air vent at the top. Um, do we have any parts that will work, pieces that will work for that though? It's like one of those little circular vents. I don't know if there's really 
anything in game that resembles that. Let me see. And if there is, I have no idea what it'd be called. Does Outlaw Run still hold the record for second fastest wooden coaster? Steepest drop on a wood coaster and only wood coaster with a double barrel roll. Um, so it does not, it's not the second fastest anymore. I think it's third or fourth. I actually think it's fourth because first you have Lightning Rod, second is El Toro, third is um, Goliath at Six Flags Great America, and then Outlaw Run. I think it was tied for second when it opened. Um, it no longer has steepest drop on a wood coaster. That belongs to Goliath, which opened in 2014 at Six Flags Great America. I think it's at 85 degrees. Um, it is the only one with a double barrel roll, though. It still holds that. It is tied for the record for most inversions on a wood coaster. It's tied with Wildfire at Kalmarden, because that has three inversions as well. So it still has... It still has that record, and it's tied with the record for most inversions on a wood coaster at three. There's no wood coaster in the world that I that I am aware of that has more than three inversions. So, uh, and Outlaw Run has three. So, so it still slightly holds its record, some records in it, some regard. Um, I don't know if Lightning Rod's getting completely retracked as a steel coaster. If that's the case, Outlaw Run will be bumped up to number three, the third fastest wood coaster. Um, but I think Lightning Rod might potentially still be considered a wood coaster if they're not retracking the entire ride. If the majority of it still would. You know, I feel like Sword Art City only exists in order to try and one up other parks. Um, I don't know. They they do a they've been doing a lot of first of its kind lately. Like Outlaw Run was the first of its kind. Time Traveler first of its kind. Um, Mystic River Falls not technically the first of its kind, but for the company that did it, yes, first of its kind. Because the you have Infinity Falls, um, but. Sir, Lightning Rod is keeping about a third of the original iBox track. See, I've heard different things that either it's going to only be partial retrack, so I, that's what I'm thinking, so it could still uh, be able to be called, considered a wood coaster. Um, they're just uh, replacing the high stress points on Lightning Rod. And if it's still majority wooden, I believe it's still considered a wood coaster as well. So it's kind of a hybrid hybrid. It's both a steel and wood coaster at the same time. It's like a legit hybrid, like a hybrid hybrid. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's a hybrid hybrid coaster. It's a hybrid on top of the hybrid. <laughs> both wood, it's a, both a wood coaster and steel coaster technically. <laughs> it is just, it's just insane. Okay, as for these balcony railings, I think they're just kind of, they're covered up by these flags anyways, so it, do, it doesn't really matter if I get them exactly right, so I'm going to see if there's a in-game fence that would work well enough for it. That way we don't have to worry about it too much, because there's there's a flag on top of it anymore, anyway, and you can't really see it uh, for the most part in the first place, so. I was thinking there was a potential fence that we could still use for this. I thought maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Does anyone know what the acceleration is on powder keg? I just remember it launched fast. So it's an air compressed launch coaster. Um, it goes 53, uh, 53 miles an hour and 2.5 seconds. It's like two point something. I can't remember for some reason. I used to completely know that. It's like two and a half seconds. It's around 2.5 or two. I think it's 2.3. It's a pretty quick acceleration. Its launch is actually really good. For only being 53 miles an hour on its launch, it's pretty awesome. Because it's air compressed. So it's got a really fast accelerating launch. It gets you to that high speed. Um really quickly it's the 
high speed on powder keg is 63 though the launch is 53 but by the time you hit the bottom of that first hill um it's two is it 2.4 is it 2.8 i didn't think i think 2.8 sounds too high though i think 2.4 sounds i don't know it's still fast it's fast <laughs> <laughs> it's a fast accelerate acceleration regardless it's just fast hit fast okay what is this light fence i don't even know what I remember downloading that one super fun ride it's my friend's favorite in the park yeah it's uh, uh the gp love it a lot of the general public love powder keg they love time traveler and powder keg those are their two favorites um, they don't, the, the general public doesn't generally like Outlaw Run that much. Um, uh, mostly the enthusiasts love Outlaw Run, but like general public are not a huge fan of Outlaw Run. Every time the GP get off of it, they're just like, that was so rough. And it's not that rough um i'm sorry you might think it's rough or some of you even some enthusiasts think it's rough but i don't see what they're talking about I, it's not like a uh, steel coaster smooth but i still don't i still don't see understand when people say outlaw runs rough it is a lot smoother than most wood coasters out there than like every wood coaster out there pretty much I'm not saying it's glossy smooth or anything, but it is. I, I just don't consider it a rough ride like some people do. It just kind of confuses me. And yes, I get it. I, I ride the ride every day, but like when I'm riding it, I'm just kind of like, where's the roughness? <laughs> I don't understand it. Where's the roughness? Like, maybe it's just because, maybe my definition of rough is different. Like, maybe some people think if there's the slight bit of bumpiness, it's considered rough to them. Maybe, maybe that's it. I don't know. But I just don't see it, you know? Maybe just some people, maybe people are just more sensitive when it comes to roughness. Like, I'm, I'm not very sensitive. Like, I, I can handle rough, rougher coasters. I don't mind them that much as some rides... Some of some of them are just like eh, it's not too it, it's like it's rough but you know it's still it's still enjoyable. Some rides are some rides aren't like some rides it's still not enjoyable. <laughs> there are some that aren't enjoyable. All right, let me see if I can get a flag to put on this that I can kind of recolor. I don't know if I want to use that. That's a theme maker's toolkit item. Maybe there's something under... I think there's something under buildings that I can use. Screaming Eagle is rough compared... I haven't rode that in quite a few years, so... It's got some great airtime on it, though. If, I, if we're thinking of the same Screaming Eagle, that is. Which I think we might be. Okay, so I'm going to put these flags in here. It's the best possible flags I can really find for this situation. These aren't, they don't use like American flags on this. I'm just gonna change the colors to the, uh, to the colors here. And hopefully it looks okay. A little more faded than that, there we go. And then the last one is pretty much that blue. Um, if we change this color to this, does it get rid of the stars? Yeah, it does. Sweet. All right, that works. That will be actually perfect. And we'll just put these across here. You wrote it in August. See, last time I rode Screaming Eagle, I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, it's still a wood coaster, kind of a wood coaster experience. Yeah, you're going to get some bumpiness, but I don't remember it being that rough, too rough. I remember the boss being a lot more rough than Screaming Eagle. Last I remember, and I've heard that Boss is a lot more smooth now since they since they've retracted a lot of it and took out the last helix. Um, I've heard it's a lot smoother now. 
I remember Wamba, A World's of Fun, and it was good too. Mamba was my first hyper coaster that I ever rode as a kid, and I absolutely loved it as a kid. Um, it's a it's a good hyper, really good hyper. Um, it's it's nothing too insane, nothing too nothing to brag about or anything, but it's just a fun ride. I like it. <clears throat> it's a lot smoother. Yeah, I figured uh, that's what everyone's told me, so I definitely want to go back and ride it again. I, I haven't been. And these are my other home parks, Worlds of Fun and Six Flags St. Louis are my other home parks, but I haven't been to them in quite a few years, actually. And I get into them for free, so I have no excuse not to go, but... Uh, what's up, Tyler? How's it going? <clears throat> How you doing? Alright, so that's looking pretty good. I like... I think that's looking good. What do you guys think? There's the, there's the actual image. I think mine is a little bit wider. A little bit big, but... That's what I've kind of been doing with the park. It's just kind of matching um, the... Because, you know, Planet Coaster makes everything a little bit big. And I'm kind of matching that style to kind of flow a little bit easier into the game. Um, bye. Gotta go except the valley before mid-course break run is still really rough. Gotcha. Um, gotta go to bed. Have a great rest of the stream. Thanks, Braden, for uh, uh, being here. And you have a wonderful night, man. Also, Mr. Freeze and Batman at uh, St. Louis are great, great too. Mr. Freeze is fun. I do like Mr. Freeze a lot. Um, the Batman clone still really good. I mean, it, it's a clone, but I still think it's a good ride. Uh, it's a B&M invert, so. Mr. Freeze is my number two at the park. Nice. Batman is number three. What's your number one at St. Louis? Just out of curiosity. My number one at St. Louis would be... It's kind of a tough one. I want to say Mr. Freeze... Um, I really do like boss when it's not real rough. I did like boss a lot when it's not when it's running pretty smooth, you know, because there's times where it would beat you up a lot. So your number one's boss. Okay. I do like boss. It's huge. Could you imagine if they RMC boss? It would be huge. It would be giant. That'd be insane if they RMC it. I don't think they're going to anytime soon. I mean, it's a possibility, but Six Flags doesn't really put any money into much money into St. Louis, which is kind of sad because it has a lot of potential, and it's one of the original Six Flags parks too, uh, which I feel like you know they would do something with. You know, I really wish they did do something with it. It's just kind of sad that they they don't. Let me see if I can maybe go wall decorations. Let's see if I can find anything. I don't think there's a piece that I'm looking for is going to uh, really work here. I think I think it was like decorations. Boss is already massive as it is. I know. They've been doing some renovating with certain areas in the entrance. I, I know they got the new entrance area and it looked really nice. I haven't seen it in person, but I have seen videos of it. Oh, the new sign with the RH. It looks really nice. They've been renovating some spots like that, but they haven't really done anything huge as in, like, add a really big attraction, like a standout coaster. I, I know they've been renovating a lot of areas, but that's about all they've really done. Fiesta and Magic Mountain are flagships, yeah. And I guess Great, uh, Great Adventure is kind of up there, too. They've, I, I know Magic Mountain. They're going to spoil Magic Mountain. <laughs> but I just wish St. Louis would get something. It's gotten re it's gotten gypped every single year. They just, have, they just haven't gotten anything good, is my point, in so long. You're getting flat. They're just getting flat ride after flat ride. If they get a coaster, it's just a hand-me-down, boomerang. Like, that was... Like, come on, man. Give, a, give them something good. Give Six Flags St. Louis something to to brag about, you know? I think they deserve I think it deserves it. Gosh dang, my mouse has been acting up a lot lately where it's like double clicking. Drive me insane. I have to fix that up. Does SDC own Dollywood? Um, they're sister parks and owned by the same company. Um, so SDC is owned by the Hershen Family Entertainment. 
Dollywood is also owned by Hershey Family Entertainment, but it's also partnered with Dolly Parton. So Dolly Parton partially owns Dollywood as well. Um, they kind of both own it. So Dolly Parton and Hershey also both own Dollywood. And they're sister parks. Dollywood used to be Silver Dollar City, Tennessee um, a while, a long time ago. Uh, and then when Dolly Parton partnered with them, it became Dollywood. So they, they're very similar overall. <clears throat> Both are very, very awesome parks. I think that's actually a pretty solid angle for that to be at. Probably lower it down a little bit. Got Still got a lot of work to do here. <clears throat> but yeah, Dollywood, great park. Sodar City has become a really good park too. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of lots of cool stuff. All right, let me see if I can get... Um, so there's a small side part coming off of this that I want to add on to this. I think it is coming off about uh, back here in this spot. And it, it this roof starts at about the top of right here. I would say... Yeah, right about right there. We'll go with that. And it uses kind of this texture in, into it. Let's go ahead and move this over so I'm not getting in the way of everything here. We're just, just gonna, we'll connect it when we get there. What is that big square tower in the park that has stairs going up it? Um, was once a ride or so I assume you're talking about the water bogging tower right here, which I haven't uh, detailed yet, but yeah, it does have stairs on it. Um, so this tower used to be a, a kind of like a water ride. It had like these big um, slides that went down. It was pretty much a big slide ride and you had like a raft, uh, kind of like almost like something you'd see in a water park actually. Um, and they tore, or they actually tore the ride out itself um, quite a few years ago, and they left the tower standing. Um, and it was called the Waterboggin. And they used to have it at Dollywood too, and I think they just tore theirs out as well. Like they just um, removed theirs. But hey, JK5, okay, what's up? Oh gosh, my mouse just died. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's like it died. My mouse quit on me for a second there. All right, so let's get, let's go back to walls here. Would, would you like to help me out here? Of course I need you to match my colors. That is not even close, okay. This color, that's the color I need. I'm not, I'm not, we're not purpling it up here. We're not, we're not going with purple, man. <laughs> All right, so the bottom part is kind of smaller in size here. I'm gonna try and do this. Uh, so we're just turn the grid size down and I guess go one more over. Hopefully that doesn't look like it's too much over, but. I recommend, recommend a Corsair M65. It's what I've got and still works great after three years. Yeah, I've had this one for a while, and um, I love Corsair. Corsair is one of my favorite companies to actually work with, but um, I got the Logitech G602. It's a wireless mouse. It's a nice gaming mouse. It's got a lot of buttons on the side. Like, look at all those buttons it's got. Really nice mouse, but I think it's starting to show its age. I've had this for a long time. Um, Maybe it's time to get maybe it's time to get a new one. I don't know, but um, like I've enjoyed this mouse so much. I, I like I'd hate to move on for, from it. It's just it's starting to. I feel like it's starting to quit on me though. 
I don't know if it, maybe it's just because I'm using rechargeable batteries in it. I might try that um, because I started to try use uh, try to use rechargeable batteries in here um, to try and save on batteries. But um, maybe that's the reason why it's acting up. I don't know. It could be. So before I change my mouse, I might I might try and um, do that. I like having a wireless mouse though. Um, is the Corsair the one that you mentioned? Is it wireless? I like wireless. Corsair M6 M65. I'm gonna look that up real quick. I'm gonna see what it looks like. Corsair M65. Ooh, I like the looks of it. I already saw it. I'm starting to look at it. RGB Elite. Uh, I'm seeing $60 at Target, $68 on Newegg, $98 on uh, eBay. <laughs> Looks like Target's my guy. <laughs> if I was to buy it, so. I like RGB. It's a pretty slick looking mouse. It does look wired, though. That's my only thing. I think I would prefer to go wireless. I'm going to keep probably still searching. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to buy anything anytime soon because I don't really, don't really want to spend anything at the moment. At least not too much money. I, I have a lot of upgrades I want to do to my setup. Um, hopefully soon. We shall see, though. My next, my next upgrades are going to be a new desk that can handle all of my monitors and also new monitors with higher refresh rates because my uh, monitor is only 60 hertz. I think 60 or 65 hertz. I think 65 hertz. Battery level at 5%. I just charged these rechargeable batteries. Maybe that's why my mouse is acting up. I might switch over to a spare mouse just because I don't want to have to deal with this right now. Because I do have a wired mouse um, sitting around somewhere. Where did I put it, though? Or is it over here? I need to clean my office. It's a mess in here, man. Absolute mess. Um, where did I put that? Interesting. I don't know where I put that. Unless it's somewhere buried in this mess of stuff. I do have quite a bit of a mess here on my desk. Oh, there it is. It's a little I buy power one that came with one of my pre-built, old pre-built PCs that I, I bought. Uh, there it is. It's just a nice little spare mouse. Nothing, nothing fancy at all. I don't even know if it's going to reach. Uh, is this my, uh, where's my mouse? There it is. I'm going to detach it and put my, this mouse in just for now, just because, um, I'm tired of getting tired of the double clicking part and I might try and put some actual batteries in this instead of the rechargeables. That might be my issue. Um, so my PC um, specs, um, so I'm, I'm planning on upgrading it. I've got an i9, Intel i9 core, core i9. It's a 10 core processor. I, for, I always forget which one it is. Hold on. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, da, da, da. Where's my processor? That is not... Oh, here it is. So, Intel Core i9-7900X. Um, it's a 10-core processor. It's not bad. It's a, it's a good processor, but um, I'm rocking 32 gigabytes, uh, 3,000 speed um, on my RAM. I, I don't exactly know what type of RAM sticks they are. It's still... The, uh, I bought my PC as a pre-built, but I have changed it a lot. I've got a Corsair 750 watt power supply. Um, I've got a GTX 1080 Ti on the graphics card. 
which has been a great graphics card. I have not needed to change it because I can run all my games in ultra and high settings, um, no problem. <clears throat> um, and I'm actually thinking about making an upgrade. I'm thinking about switching over to the a Ryzen um, processor. I think I'm gonna switch over to AMD and get a new motherboard with a new processor and actually upgrade to a 5900X, or Ryzen 9 5900X 12 core. It's about a $500 uh, processor, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, I don't, uh, I think I'm just gonna go with that one and I'll have to buy a new uh, motherboard, obviously. Um, and then eventually I wanna upgrade some other things like my RAM because Ryzen likes fast RAM and I want something faster than 3000 megahertz on it. Um, I wanted to at least get 3600 speed. <clears throat> um, flexing on me with these specs, dang, I've got Ryzen 5 2600, RX 580, and 16 gigabytes of 3200. See, your your RAM's faster than mine. Mine's only 3000 speed. I mean, it's 32 gigabytes, but uh, but yeah, I want to upgrade and switch over to Ryzen uh, to AMD and uh, get a better processor. Um, I haven't had many issues with my processor. I just, I just wanna, I, I just, uh, Ryzen, I feel like I'm gonna be uh, kind of becoming an AMD fanboy. I just started getting into PC building more. Um, so, like I said, my uh, my PC is a pre-built, but at this point it's pretty much custom <laughs> uh, because I've made so many changes to it. Uh, it originally had, um, what graphics card? I think I had a 2060 in there and I upgraded it to 2080 or 1080 Ti. Was it? No, wait, was it a 2060? I don't remember. It wasn't something... It was a 1060. 1060. Uh, I, and I put a 1080 Ti in there, um, which is really good. And it had a 500 watt power supply, and I upgraded it to 750. Um, so eventually, I think I might upgrade my power supply too, but we'll see. Um, is the autosave done? It was autosaving. Nope. Nope. It's not done yet. It's... Uh, I can see my frame rate up here. It's not done. <laughs> but I know Planet Coaster is a good game to have a really good CPU on. <clears throat> but I've been able to do a lot of 4K gaming. Most of my games I play in 4K. Um, so the 1080 Ti is a great graphics card if you can find it for a good value, you know. I've been building computers since I was 13. My uh, family said I finally had it back with like a uh, big kick. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, like I, I, I recently found this hobby not too long ago. Like I started building my own PCs. Um, my, I've only built three PCs now. Actually, no, I built four. I built one for one of my coworkers. Um, I built one just for fun <laughs> which i still which i actually ended up taking apart and i might use for some of its parts for later uh, i built another one for another co-worker for his wife uh, and then the most recent one i did i had a 1500 dollars budget to work with for another co-worker um and it was by far the the best pc i've been able to build and it was awesome i went all out on it i put in some really it had some really good specs on it um for fifteen hundred dollars, and um, I hope he's enjoying it. Um, so he hasn't messaged. I told him if he has any issues with it, just let me know. I'll fix it, fix it for him. But it's just a, it's an awesome hobby. Like I just had so much fun building PCs lately. Um, so I, I just let all my coworkers know. Hey, if you want a new PC, whatever your budget is, hit, hit me up, man. <laughs> I've almost thought about making kind of like my own Etsy store or something like that and uh, kind of putting a, a thing on there saying, hey, I'll work around your budget, you know, and everything and just build them for fun and ship them out. Um, even if I don't make much of a profit, I'm not really in it to make profits on them. It's just a hobby of mine and I like building PCs just for fun, you know, and I'm ready to upgrade mine. Like I really ready to upgrade mine and I just don't have the funds for it right now. So I'm kind of holding off on it, but okay. What was I gonna do here? That's right. Uh, did you say you worked for SDC? I did. I do. Uh, you from uh, around the Springfield Branson area? Uh, 
I'm further north because Boonville, Columbia area. Yeah, I'm more of the Branson, Springfield area. Um, I don't live in Branson or Springfield. I'm just kind of like outside of them. Um, but I live really, I, I'm only like 15 minutes away from SDC, so. <clears throat> it's only, it's a pretty, pretty quick drive to work, uh, every morning, so. <clears throat> but I live closer to the Branson area. Uh, more than anything. Any tips for uphill, downhill paths, terrain? Whew! Uh, working on, uh, Dollywood, uh, uh, Disney World. Is it Disney World? Is that what you mean by DW? Um, recursion on and off. And the paths are, pads are the biggest pain. Well, I've had the biggest pain with pads here in Silver Dollar City's recreation because this thing, this park is built on a hill. <laughs> like, literally built on a hill. Um, so, yeah, I've had to work with paths. So, my biggest tips for you, um, it's, 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 it's a difficult thing to work with, but I'll give you a little demo over here. So like I've had to work with a lot of terrain here, um, and getting those kind of smooth hills and the paths and stuff kind of like this, very, very difficult. Uh, so Dollywood, I didn't know if you meant Disney world or Dollywood. So cool. Yeah. Dollywood. I'm actually planning on doing a Dollywood recreation myself. So eventually, uh, maybe after I'm done with SDC, um, so bi the biggest thing for working with terrain, it's a pain in the butt. You're going to be spending a lot of time with it. Um, one of the tools I like to use is the flatten to surface tool. Uh, this is a great tool to use. Just find the angle that you kind of want to use uh, based off of your terrain here. So say if I want to go from like here and kind of have this angle, this is a great way to get a smooth decline or incline. And say if you want to like go downwards, it's nice and smooth. And then when you get to like say the bottom, when you kind of connect to your other foot here, just smooth the heck out of it, and it'll smooth out the the roundness of it, kind of like that. Uh, and smooth that, and then smooth the top a lot. This is the best kind of situation I've done it with. And then um, get your path in there. And you might have to tweak it up still a little bit, but just, and then you just do whatever type of path, all your, your path all the way down, you know? And it makes it kind of smooth. It, uh, when you do flatten the surface, that way you don't have any of like those awkward bumps going anywhere. Craftsman's Valley. So yeah, just kind of go like that. And if you look like that, this is not in Silver Dollar City. This path isn't, by the way, but just for purposes. And you get a pretty smooth um, terrain path. That's kind of how I work around it for the be for the most part. And it works really well for me. To uh, That's the, the best tool that I use is that flatten to surface tool. Um, and then if you want to just like smooth it around it, maybe just like push these up. Uh, make sure your intensity is not too high for that though. Just kind of smooth these up by doing stuff like that and then just smooth it around because working path with terrain it can be kind of a pain in the butt in playing a coaster but that's that's the best i've kind of worked with it so that'd be my tips to you uh when working around it i'd love to, love to see the dollywood recreation i love looking at uh recreations in the game so yeah that's my tips to you um mainly use um flatten to surface because uh, it gets you nice, smooth inclines. And that works for the most part on a lot of stuff. And that's mainly how I did um, Hill Street here on Silver Dollar City. was that tool. It was uh, helped me a lot using uh, that tool on uh, Hill Street. Because this is the big hill at Silver Dollar City uh, that you have to walk up. Because <laughs> if you notice, up here on the square, you're way up here. And then when you get to the back of the park, you're way down here. A lot of terrain work goes in, uh, into parks like Dollywood and Silver Dollar City. I've already done Mystery Mine on here. That's awesome. I love Mystery Mine so much. That's where I'm starting out. Sweet. I would definitely like to check it out. If you ever like post it on the workshop, let me know. And I'll, I want to check it out. I love Mystery Mine. This reminds my one of my favorite coasters. I hate Hill Street. It's not the funnest. I usually avoid Hill Street. I usually use the corkscrew path anytime I'm heading up from Outlaw. 
I'll use this path right here and head up this little corkscrew path and head through mid Midtown. I feel like it's a little bit of easier walk than going up um, Cardiac Hill, as uh, us employees like to call it. <laughs> <coughs> That's typically what I like to do to kind of work around it. All right, so that's that piece. Um, I need to get to work on this, man. A little bit more work. Let's get that, there's a little window right there. Let's get that window in there. Let's make that a little bit more white. Closer to a white color, there we go. I guess I should uh, close this up too. Might be a good idea. Oh, wrong rotation there. Did you add the Starbucks bakery thing? I don't know what it's called. So that's called Cl that's Clarabelle's and it's right across from Mystic as well. I have not worked on that building. That's actually the next building I plan on working on. It's gonna be this building right here. Basically, I threw down some uh, structures here to kind of emulate some buildings, and they're not detailed, but that's what this building right here is going to be. It's going to be Clarabelle's, that's where the Starbucks is, the cinnamon bread, and all that fun stuff. So this is where the, this is, it's kind of a new spot. The building has always been there, but like they kind of renovated it and redid it a little bit to where the cinnamon bread and um, they're going to have cinnamon bread, and they also have a Starbucks in there. Uh, Starbucks coffee. It doesn't have everything from Starbucks in there, but it, uh, it is Starbucks branded coffee in there, so. <clears throat> very, very cool. I guess we can go ahead and select all this and then just we sit in here just to uh, fill this up so there's no gaps in here when you're underneath looking up at this. I'm gonna fill all those gaps. No gaps! Ooh. I need to add this to the top as well. I'm really excited to get all this going. Once I get this road started to get this road a little bit detailed with all these buildings and stuff, start getting this road, like right here, and get Fireman's Landing going, bro, we're gonna like, we're gonna be getting a lot closer. Um, like a lot closer. So, like I said, I'm going to be focusing on this building a lot here soon and kind of this path. This path and this bu these buildings along this path and Mystic River Falls is kind of the area we're really focusing on. Uh, no gap gang. <laughs> exactly. No gaps. No gaps. But yeah, we're going to we're going to really we're going to get it moving, man. We're going to be oh, man, it's after 11 already. Jeez. Time just like, time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Ba -da 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 -da. But yeah, I figured I'd whack this, this, this building out of the way because it is gonna probably be the most difficult on this road just because it's the biggest one. Big old building that we have to deal with. Let's see, for these windows, I'll probably just place some of these guys in here and duplicate it uh, around to make them a little bit bigger.
Uh, what software do I use for streaming? I use OBS, Open Broadcast Software. It is free to use and it's really good. OBS Studio is what I use. And then for my overlays and stuff and my alerts, I'm uh, I use uh, Stream Elements. Um, it can be uh, kind of difficult sometimes to get your settings just right. Um, uh, you want to make sure your stream's not laggy. Uh, you gotta mess with your settings a little bit, but it usually gets there. I remember there's been times where I had to mess with my settings for like a week just trying to get them to the best quality I could possibly do. Um, I've been able to do some nice 1080p streaming, I think, pretty well, so... I don't know what I'm going to do with that circular fin up top. Hmm. I could put like an art shape of a circle up there, but that's... That's about all I know what to do right now. Got me a little stumped at that. I got some like close-ups of some of these spots. Like I really, I like zoomed in. Like, I'm going to get this shot. I'm going to figure out how all these buildings are connected into one. How it works. Just got to find my right shots here. Reference photos that I need. Where is this one taken? Is that the side? I think that's the side on the uh, exit side. There's some good fans in the workshop. Oh, you know what? Like circular, you know what? I have one. I do have one. That is a good idea. Let me see. If that would actually fit properly. I got this fan. It is a little small. But if it was a little bit bigger, I wonder if there's a bigger one on the workshop. There might be. Because that actually looks pretty good, especially from a distance. If it was a little bit bigger, it'd be perfect. I'm going to go see if there's more uh, a bigger version of it on the workshop. I'm not sure. Um, let me see. I want to see more of your workshop and see if you've got different sizes because it is good. 720 workshop items. Jeez. Oh, he made. this is the guy that made uh, a lot of those cool things. This guy's got some good stuff on his workshop. Jeez. He's got the Wicked Twister signs. He's got a Starbucks? What? Holy crap. It's like a full Starbucks building. How did you manage that in the workshop? Wow. I'm going to subscribe to that just because I want to see it. <laughs> Starbucks signs. Fancy fence. Ooh. This guy's actually got some really good stuff in here. Oh yeah, he's got uh, these little kiosks too. So I've, subs man, I've subscribed to multiple things that this person's done. What's his name? Idro. Idro has some really good Theme Maker's Toolkit items on here. Is his name Idro? Yeah, exactly. Idro. Roof tile. Ooh, I like those roof tiles. How come I haven't seen more of these? Schwarzkopf track connector? And he's got some really nice stuff. Let's see. Q fans. I don't think he's got any more. I don't think he's got any more of those fans. Or bigger fans. That's alright. It's a little small, but... I have so much for him. Yeah, I had so much without even realizing it. Like, dang, he's got some good Theme Maker's Toolkit items on here. Coaster test seat. I think I got... This one.
Oh gosh, what's happening? It's freezing. Everything's freezing. Ah! Steam's crash. What's going on with Steam? He makes amazing stuff for realistic parks. Exactly. I I like building more realistically. Oh, what happened? What happened? There we go. Yeah, I'm just like scrolling through this stuff because I want to see more. Do I have, am I subscribed to this? Yes, I am, okay. I'm just like going through like, maybe I could, maybe there's some more useful stuff I could use. Propane tanks, nice. Always oh, got road marking arrows. That's brilliant. BM dive connector. Ooh. He's got 80 pages on here. He's got 750 items, by the way. Very impressive stuff. I like the vending machines. Those look nice. Q wait time signs. Ooh, these are awesome. He has that trash cart. And these wait time signs are like, are these like Cedar Fair-esque? I think these are like Cedar Fair ones. Very, very nice. I'm going to subscribe to those. Ah, I broke it again. I broke Steam again. Do any other employees have a YouTube channel? Not that I know of, really. Actually, yeah, kind of. It's complicated. <laughs> I guess kind of they do. Oh, so he's got the thing, and then you can switch the arrow to whatever you want. Nice. Oh, he's got the cafe chairs. I've got those card readers. Gosh dang, this keeps, like, freezing. Maybe I need to, like, get out of the in-game one and actually go to real Steam. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at that stuff later. <laughs> I keep, like, it keeps breaking <clears throat> in a way. I have to look more at, more of that. He's got some good stuff. Like, there's stuff that I've, I already have, but, like, I'm finding stuff that I haven't seen before. And there, it's really, really good. Yeah, Hydro. Definitely, definitely check him out on the workshop. Got some good stuff. Good, good stuff. Think about going to grabbing a Dr. Pepper or something. I need to get something to drink. I might do that real quick. I'll be right back. Don't leave. Dr. Pepper Gang. Not sponsored, but Dr. Pepper, if you need someone to sponsor, call me, okay? Call me. Dr. Pepper and Cream. Oh, I just got normal Dr. Pepper now, but Dr. Pepper and Cream. Hmm. I love Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda. I'm glad it's not a limited edition thing. <laughs> just saying. Anybody else tried it? It's amazing. Dr. Pepper and Cream is my thing, man. Like, the first the first sip of Dr. Pepper and Cream, the first words that came out of my mouth was, uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, oh no. I was just like, oh no. I'm gonna get addicted <laughs> to Dr. Pepper and Cream. <laughs> it is... Like, like, you get that Dr. Pepper taste, and then it it just like finishes with a cream and it's just like it's beautiful <laughs> like dr peppers sponsoring man just sponsored i will i will i will advertise you until the end of days 
Sorry, Jess just poked her head in here and started shaking her head. <laughs> this was talking about the amazing Dr. Pepper and Cream phenomenon. Oh, you spilt your Dr. Pepper? That's sad. That's never good. That's that's actually very sad. I'm sorry. Leia, what are you doing, little girl? Come here. Yeah. You wanna be YouTube famous? You wanna be you wanna be a part of the stream? Hmm. Say hello. Hey hi kitty. You're on the internet. How do you feel about that? You you have anything to say? No? You probably just want me to let you down, right? That's probably all you want. Yeah. Oh, here comes the Wiggles. Here comes the Wiggles saying, let me go. Okay, 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 come down. Ah, I'll let you go. <laughs> all right, P. Dr. Pepper. Leia didn't want to be on stream. She started wiggling. Wiggle. <laughs> Oh, did somebody else run in? Oh, other kitties. Here's a fluffy one. Oh, oh, she's already angry. She's already angry. Okay, okay. <laughs> Does Ray Ray have anything to say? Hmm. Hi, kitty. You got something to say? Say it now for the world to hear. All the nine people watching right now. You can tell nine people something right now. Whatever. Nothing? <laughs> I guess not. What are you doing, girl? Say, I'm being YouTube famous. <laughs> oh, you got a new one. Sweet. Soda all over chair. No. Poor Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh! Wiggle! What was that? Okay, you went down too. I gotcha. I got. Okay! <laughs> In case you didn't know, we have four cats. Four. You know, we originally were only gonna have one. But then we couldn't resist. <laughs> Why did you throw a sock at me? do I want to work on next? Maybe the planters around? I'm trying to figure out. Um, get some good shots. Maybe I should start on the wall, back wall back over here. Start connecting it. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Buddy. So there's a wall on the back here, um, which is like the exit to the theater. But we can Buddy. start on... Is that the oh, okay so it's got it's got the other the other side has a little bit of a piece on that on there as well so it is on both sides I might try and save us some time ish <laughs> I try. 
since it's kind of reversed, it's a little bit harder. So we're gonna <clears throat> get this in here. So it's it's pretty much mirrored to the other side. We got these little borders here. These little columns, I guess you could say. Border columns. I don't know what you call it. <clears throat> right, we can also use uh, Google Maps to help us out as well for like location and kind of get a scale of the entire building. It's a really big building. Uh, have you ever thought about streaming other games like Phasmophobia? I have actually sp uh, have streamed it a few times. <clears throat> Has been one out lately, but I don't know uh, how you are with scary games. Uh, if you have looked at, if you look at previously on the channel, I have played it. Uh, I actually played it. I have a. I just got a VR headset not too long ago, and I've been playing it in VR. Um, I don't know if Jacob's here. Maybe we can actually play a little bit um, after we're done with playing a coaster. Maybe stream a little bit of Phasmophobia. Um, let me see if Jacob's online. He, he likes to play it. I don't know if he's watching. Let me see. He's online on Discord, so... Oh, phobia. On the stream soon? It might be a little late for him. Might be a little too late because he's uh, an hour ahead of me, so it'd be af that's after midnight for him. But it could be just me and Jess. But I'm gonna offer him. <clears throat> I have to watch it. I've been playing. If you need a third or fourth, oh yeah, sure. Well, absolutely. If we if we need more people, absolutely. <clears throat> um, definitely. Always looking for more people to play with. Um. Again, I, ha I have VR, so in VR, you can actually do a little bit more because you can actually hold more stuff. Like, you can have uh, stuff on your belt and hold th two things at once. And, like, uh, you can actually have, like, the, say, the EMF reader on your side and have it turned on and you can look down and see. Like, you can do, like, so many things at once. It's uh, definitely a lot more bigger advantage on VR. The only disadvantage is it's much scarier in VR. And then again... Phasmophobia hasn't really scared me too much lately. Just because I've gotten used to it, I guess. So I've kind of become that guy that just kind of runs in and say, Hey, yo, ghost. Tell me what you are. <laughs> you ain't scary. <laughs> I've kind of become one of those. In a way. Just like... Like, come at me. <laughs> like, you ain't scary at all. Okay, so we got this building that is going to be like this. So this building kind of comes across right there, and we're going to have it with that. We need VR playing coaster. Yes, we do. It feels so real walking around the parks. So they should have like a uh, first person view. I know you have Tejid cam, but imagine if there was like a VR mode where you could actually walk around the park in VR and actually get on the coasters like, kind of like you do in um, kind of like No Limits, you know, where you can walk around in VR and uh, do all that fun stuff. Hey Cap, what are you getting into? Here's another one. <laughs> Here's this one. You got anything to say? Kylo. Usually you start crying when I hold you, so I didn't know if you wanted to cry to the to to YouTube saying, "Hey, let me down." He's got the uh, he's got a really funny meow, don't you? He's a big boy. He's a big cat. Really big cat. Cat number three. Let's go. Exactly. 
There's one more after this one, but he's a little harder to get a hold of. He always runs away from me, so. There he is, Frumpkin. Frumpkin, will you let me pick you up? Hmm? Aw. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll let you down. Frumpkin, come here. He's a little more. He's, a, he's actually our newer cat. Kind of newer. We've had him for a little bit. We actually uh, brought him in from outside because he... Uh, we had another cat that hung around our house, which had a kitten, which is this one, or the one I can't, haven't shown on screen yet. And uh, we brought him in because um, he was a little kitten and um, <clears throat> didn't want anything to happen to him. So, got one cat, two dogs. She is a calico and still kind of young. Gotcha. Um, the three that I just showed, that I have showed in the stream so far, are. Uh, all part of the same litter, um, so they're brother and sister, and um, there's three of them, and uh, we were going to just get one uh, initially, but then we found out that uh, the other two didn't have homes yet, or they or were going to get homes, but they kind of bailed out on them, so we decided to take all three in the end, and um, the fourth one we've only had for about a year or so, um, getting close to a year since we brought him into the house anyways. He's, only, he's just over a year old. The other ones are... Um, four now, I think. So, they're all pretty young still. Dogs are a golden retriever and a pit bull mix. Oh. <clears throat> My wife, Jessie, she, um, she's a cat person. She loves her kitties. <laughs> oh, the kitties. Yeah. Oh, good scratches. Good pets. <laughs> they can get into trouble sometimes, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> they they like they like to get in trouble quite often. Wait, how are th how is this building looking? Let me see. Is there another angle of that? Okay, so it kind of can. Okay, I see now. So this is gonna go back here. <clears throat> so you have a Discord server. I do. Um, I don't have my links. Uh, I, I have them all on Twitch, but not on like uh, uh, set up for YouTube. I'm still like setting up YouTube streaming, so I don't have everything kind of set up just yet. Um, I have everything set up on Twitch, so um, I still I still need to get like a, a bot on. Uh, YouTube, so I can just like literally type in commands. Um, uh, bleh, let me see if I can find a, get a link for you uh, if you want to join the Discord. I don't even know where to, where to get the link in Discord. I'm not very Discord savvy, so I have uh, a couple of mods that uh, do a lot for me. <laughs> uh, the, I, th I thought it would be under here. Looking, I have Discord up right now trying to look. Okay. Uh, but I got streamer mode in enabled, so it's not showing too much. <laughs> Does anybody have a Discord? I'll join also. Uh, let me get it for you guys. Hold on. I got, I got you. Um, I know I have the link on Stream Elements. So let me bring up Stream Elements because I have it through Stream Elements through. Uh, Twitch, um, on my Twitch, I have all my alerts set up, so if I go to my alerts over there, I can go look at it. Hey! Cats, my goodness. Calm down. Custom commands. Discord, 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 Discord. Where are you at? Discord! There is the link. 
Uh, let me get that to you guys. This should be updated enough. Uh, ma let me make sure. Uh, tell me if it works. Make to make sure it works. So that's the Discord link. Let me double check on that. Yeah. All right. Uh, somebody wants to check out. Make sure that link worked for you guys. Um, that just tells me I need to take the time and get all that set up on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, like I said, I got it all set up on Twitch. I don't have it set up on YouTube yet, so. Because I haven't really live streamed much on YouTube all that much. I've mostly live streamed on Twitch, so. That's where I stream the most. <clears throat> but we have a co co uh, quite a few cool things on uh, going on in, the, uh, in our Discord and trying to get more active users in there, so. I mean, we've got, I think, a little over 100 people in there. It's, you know, like I said, it's nothing huge, but... Um, just trying to get some more active people in there. be awesome. You know, you know, you know. If you know, you know. You know. We actually want to go with this. To match. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me. We'll do that about right there, and then we're gonna want to put the other wall in um, as well, which does use. Yeah, so it's going to go kind of a little bit across right here. That's where the exit for the building will be. This building's uh, very interestingly um, shaped, so. <laughs> oh, we're going to get it in there. Building buildings with, like, terrain is much of a challenge, too. As well. Gotta turn the grid size down for this. Probably gonna have to get my terrain out of here. All out of the way. Because it's in my way right now. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Um, so what we're going to want to do next is probably edit this and get, probably do a roof, because that's the, kind of the first thing that connects with this is a roof, for kind of like the exit of the, it's an exit for the, um, the stage and everything, you know. Boop, boop, boop. Nice, I got three of you that joined. Thanks for joining the uh, Discord. the discord server we have all, all sorts of things going on um so one of the cool things on our discord server is we have um um we have like little different chains for everybody um uh, that we added for some people um and like their park chains like mine's jail to be entertainment um and then there's some other people that have made their own chains in the discord and they post like their updates of their of their parks and stuff. Um, kind of a neat little thing. And we're working on some other stuff that hopefully will be. I don't know if it will come anytime soon, but uh, we had some really big ideas um, for, for some cool stuff uh, to work in there. So, <clears throat> but it's nothing too fancy in the Discord. We're just uh, kind of just hang out in there, you know. Post some of your 
some of your recreations if you play Planet Coaster, stuff like that, you know? And just have a good time in there. Okay, so we got a little bit of a building here. And then it just kind of continues back that way and it goes up a hill, like it's on a hill. Which is interesting, so... I don't know if I want to do too much more of this tonight. I think, I think I've, I've done a good portion of this building. I'll take another stream or two to get this building done and then we'll start working on the path as well. I'm really trying to get in the habit of working on a little bit of this park every single day. That way it will slowly really get in and get there, you know? Um, and then I, can, I need to get another episode filmed rather soon, hopefully. Um, so I need to get some significant stuff done <clears throat> fairly soon. So, hmm, I don't know, should we play Phasma? Hmm, if Jess wants to. Play a little Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia. Phasma, Phasma. It's a fun, little, it's a fun, fun little horror game, <clears throat> especially in VR. I love, I love playing in VR. Only thing is, my headset only lasts for about two hours. That's the only downside to my headset. Um, I have the Oculus Quest Two, really good um, budget headset. Like it's only three hundred dollars, um, and it's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. But I appreciate you guys checking us out tonight. Hopefully I'll be live again tomorrow. Um, I'd imagine I would be. Um, no reason not to be, so. <laughs> oh, hi, Kylo. He <laughs> decided to just hop up onto my lap again. What's up, buddy? Excuse me. How are you? Hmm. Do you want some attention? Is that what it is? <laughs> Did you want want all that attention, don't ya? Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> I was like, I'm, I always look at this zoomed out, uh, and I'm just like, man, I've done a lot, but I feel like I still have so much left, you know? Like, yeah, I've done quite a bit here, but I still got a lot to do. <laughs> um, I hope to maybe release it in phases, that, um, so when I get it to a point where I feel like enough of it's done, like the general layout's done, all the rides are pretty much done, um, and maybe all that's left is a little polishing, I'll probably release it in like phases, like, um, um, phase one will just be like, um, everything's in place, but some things still need to be a little bit polished and worked on. Um, and then like phase two and three will just be like polishing phases, I guess. Kind of like that, you know? And then after I'm completely done for sure, like all the polishing's done, um, I want to work on a Christmas version of the park, um, which would be really cool. I think I might do a pumpkin nights version eventually too. That'd be kind of cool. I think I'll do a Christmas version with all the lights on it. I think Gunner's going to help me with that one, um, which will be cool. <clears throat> so in case you didn't know, guys, I do have a lot of custom audio. Let's see what song's playing. Cat. Oh, Clocks by Coldplay. It's playing over here at Time Traveler right now. <laughs> We have, oh, you guys might not have seen my Fire in the Hole recreation yet. I don't know if some of you have. You may have, some of you might have. Grab your children and don't be slow. Bald numbers come in there, Fire in the Hole. So this is my Fire in the Hole recreation. Still a work in progress, but most of it's done. With custom audio. If it works. Doesn't always work. Yeah, it's working. 
This is the audio that always glitches out, the next one. It doesn't always work. Right here. Let's see if it works so far, so good. Hey, it's working. Thankfully, I'll, uh, that one actually worked. <laughs> For some reason, that audio glitches out a lot. Got no pants no more. The dang bald knobber stole them. Here's a barrel of laughs. laughs. I'm pretty proud of the recreation so far. Fire in the mountain, won't be cold. Fire in the mountain, fire in the hole. I still can't get that transition perfect. It always goes real bright at first. And there's the bridge. infinite it's the hanging scene without the hanging because they changed it <laughs> for six minutes okay better than none Here comes the train being kind of messed up there. That was weird. Say it with me, everyone. Fire in the hole. <laughs> I'm pretty proud with all the custom audio that I put in there. I think it turned out really good. Um, still got a little bit to do on the station here and a little bit in that last turn to polish it up with some scenery and stuff, but... Looking good. Hey, Thrill Rider, what's up? Does that work? Alright. Still got some exterior details, too. And those, those speakers won't be floating in the future, don't worry. This was our hometown, but the bald knobbers came and burned it down. Don't be so by the mountain fire in the hole. Thundering hooves and jar in the ground. People are here, us hanging around. All our homes are ashes now. What are we working on now? So we're in Silver Dollar City. I've been working on the Riverfront Playhouse building. Uh, right over there. It's the uh, one of the theaters at Silver Dollar City. Yeah. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Uh, I'm so proud of what I've done. I just can't wait till it's completely done. You know what I mean? Seriously, man, I'm taking a trip here for real. Absolutely, man. Get out of here, man. 
Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait till the virus is over here. I, I, I mean, I don't think any, I think everyone's ready for it to be over. I think we can all agree with that. <laughs> Just tired of it. We all are. Sweat a little water. You'll sweat a little blood. And you might get out if the mine don't flood. I haven't rode the flooded mine in a while. I need to do, like, the same thing and do, like, the, uh, time machine cam so you can make it dark and inside haven't really done that i wanted to do some more uh uh polishing in, inside here um because I, I, I don't really have the mannequins with the con outfits and everything um <clears throat> so you know what i'm saying Rumored to get a new coaster soon. What kind? Um, the the most rumored thing is a new version of Fire in the Hole. So, like ground up. You know what I mean? But I need to polish these scenes up and stuff because it's kind of bleh. <laughs> I didn't really have any good like models for the mannequins for the for the for the ride, so it's kind of. I wanted to put actual targets in there, but the tar in-game targets are like huge, like huge. So, just what a little blood, and you might get out if the mine don't flood. I would think since Hollywood are doing lightning, that SCC would get a new coaster. Uh, well, I mean, it is technically a new coaster with fire in the hole, so that would that somewhat be a new coaster. Do the riders of fire in the hole and flooded mine like it? Do the riders of fire in the hole and flooded mine like it much and plan a coaster? They love. Flooded mine. Fire in the hole, not so much. Um, and it's mostly because fire in the hole um, is built with a coaster. And with coasters, you gotta have airtime and all that fun stuff. Otherwise, it's gonna get a low ri rating, even if you have really high scenery ratings. This type of ride is not meant to have drops and stuff, in a way. Um, I guess you do have the, the weird drop on the Armada, but. Um, it's more based around scenery, so when you put a lot of scenery around it, it gets a higher uh, excitement rating. But it's not the case when you do that, so. All right, see you, Infinite Gaming. Have a good night, man. But, yeah. So, they love this ride. They just don't like the other one, you know what I mean? So, this that's why the whole line gets so long for uh, Flooded Mine, but it's so... Like, no one rides flyer in the hole, just a few people. So it's like, oh man, I wish I could fix that somehow. Hurry, before the guard wakes up. Yeah, I need to polish these scenes in here. I just kind of put the layout together mainly. Um, one of the maintenance guys actually that works at Flooded Mine actually gave me the track layout, or the layout of the ride, which helped a ton. Not gonna lie. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Just finished my RMC, and I hate them. They're hard to build in Planko. It's like, like Untamed or and Outlaw Run. They can be challenging at times. Just Planko in general, mostly because they don't have 
a heart line option, but I came up with my own method to do my best that I can putting in heart lining and stuff, so. And it's worked really well, pretty well for me. Oh, we're back to Freebird. Better than. <laughs> um, but there, there's a there's a few tricks that you can do like for certain elements. I got I got my methods for like almost every element for uh, RMCs and stuff. So like just basics like. I don't know if you've seen my uh, smoothing method video before, but uh, for instance, I guess we're not editing it. Like what that? What the heck? Oh, there it goes. Like what the heck was that? It took so long. I'm just gonna put a few flat pieces here before we. Like sometimes, just to be like very. Um, Precise, I'll sometimes use the uh, angle snap. Like, that way it can be very symmetrical. And then I always put, uh, put my banking offset all the way up. Hey, what's up? Mr. Rookie, what's up? How you doing? But always put the banking offset all the way up. And then about midway up, we'll do that. And then we'll flip it all the way around at the top. Put that at zero. And then make sure this is the same. I think we had it at 45. And, but yeah, sometimes I will use a banking offset sometimes. And back at zero. This is just for a really quick zero G roll. And I always do three pieces at a time. So one, two, three. And then just smooth them all out. And this is just like me really going quick, so don't know how well it will turn out. And I used pretty long pieces. I would actually probably use a little bit of shorter pieces for this. I probably used, my pieces were a little bit too long. But I usually go through, through it about two times. Yeah, you didn't know about banking offset. That's what I used to really try and get my heart lining. Banking offset really does help a little bit, and then once you smooth it out, the only thing is with the smooth tool, it is gonna try and remove that heart lining. That's why I crank it all the way up, and you don't wanna go through with the smooth tool too much or it's gonna remove that heart line. So I only go through about two times. Not really more with two. Some elements I'll go over more, but you can see it does some really good um, some shaping and that's that's basically how my smooth me smoothing method works that i use and for the most part it's pretty smooth like it'll actually roll through it pretty qu pretty nicely too let me see if i can uh yeah i can't change those oh, oh well that's fine whatever but yeah, it usually go, it typically will go through it pretty smoothly, and that's usually how I do my uh, kind of banking or my how to how I keep my rolls nice and heart lined, but also keep them nice and uh, smooth. It looks better than mine. Yeah, so that's a really good method. Uh, I made a, a a smoothing video on it, so just you can use do it on any size pieces too. It doesn't have to be like two uh, your three meter method or one meter method now with the mod. Um, you can use any size pieces that you really want to use and then just after you build it just go select three pieces at a time and then just go through with a smooth tool uh, about two times don't don't do too much too much more than two that will actually smooth it out quite nicely and still keep your heart lining pretty good because you can see how it, it still kind of goes in that heart line a little bit and that's why I put the banking offset all the way up um, to make sure we get that so you can like do the same thing for like, again, with like barrel rolls. <clears throat> Let's see, I would actually probably use slightly shorter pieces. Like uh, when you initially build it, it's gonna look kind of obviously janky. But after you smooth it, go through the smooth, smooth tool a couple times. It's, it's glossy. And it still goes through 
like very smoothly. Like the POV, if you're in um, in the uh, bumper view, pretty smooth, really solid, you know. And this is how I kind of do all my rolls. Uh, gosh, we're gonna have that glitch, aren't we? Hold on. Yeah, that sometimes can happen. So we might want to probably we probably want to start from this side. Let's see if that works. Sometimes you'll get that glitch. If that does happen, sometimes you gotta work around it. There we go. If it does do that glitch, again, try starting from the other side. All right, we're gonna go back through one more time. You can see, going through that first time doesn't quite get it as smooth as we need it. So I figured two times is a pretty good amount because once you go through the second time, it really does get rid of all those janky pieces. And look at that. Look at that. And you keep your heart line fairly decent. <clears throat> fairly decent and, and everything. Is it 100% perfect? Probably not. But that's basically what I use. Because it's not, it doesn't take you five days to build a layout for a coaster. It's still fairly quick, you know, and that's what I like about using this method. And it's the method that I came up with. I actually, for the most part, um, I, I came up with this method on my own. So just kind of messing around and, and everything. Um, and it's a nice, it's, it's a really easy method for those really trying to get into advanced coaster building. So... <laughs> five days of speed. Yeah, it takes me that long sometimes, too. <laughs> uh, going to bed. I got to go to school tomorrow. See you all later. All right, see ya. Thanks for joining. You have a wonderful night. Thanks for joining, of course. And hopefully we'll see you soon. That's also me. <laughs> yep. But yeah, guys, use that method. It, it works really, really good. Um... One thing I'm super proud of, I don't remember if I used it for this barrel roll on Outlaw. I think I might have. I think I did. Um, but this barrel roll turned out so good. But you just gotta have to mess around with it a little bit. Um, so basically turn up banking offset. Yeah, crank it all the way up. And then go through with the smooth tool no more than twice. Yes. Um, some elements, very rarely, some elements you might want to go through three times, but most most elements, that your common elements, are mostly just twice. Because um, if you get in there and it's still not very smooth, sometimes I'll go through with a third time. Um, and uh, sometimes I'll shape it up myself a little bit if I really want that heart lining. Um, so if you have to smooth it out, again, this is... It gets a little, it gets a little weird sometimes. Um, so... If you have to smooth it out more, because it's just not smoothing out uh, for whatever reason, sometimes you can literally go in and pull, uh, just kind of force your heart lining in there. And I'll show you a way to do that. One of my old methods that I would like to do is actually not have any banking offset. So I'd make my roll, for instance. And this is legit how I would do it. Uh, this is like an early thing that I tried at one point, and I found that my other method worked a little bit better, is I would do this. I would take these, pull them out as far as I could, as stupid as it looks, maybe not as far as I could, but almost as far as I could, kind of like so. So pull your sides up, and then kind of raise the, the middle part a little bit. And then I would sometimes just go in here and literally just smooth it out. Don't know how well this would work. And then I could actually keep doing this until I'm happy with the heart lining. And then every so often I'd go back in, raise this a little bit. It was a very janky, this was a very janky method that I used at one point that I tried to use. Uh, but I would try to use it to try and work on that shaping and I would just keep smoothing it out Pulling the areas what I needed to until I got the shaping that I want, you know But usually I would have to raise this a lot Sometimes I'd have to pull them out a little bit more again and just until it was nice and smooth But I also got the shaping and this was kind of a, a jank like I said kind of a janky way of doing it But 
This is one of my old methods that I used to use. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And it was just, it just ended up being kind of a, a pain in the butt to get exactly the shaping I wanted. So I ended up kind of scrapping this method. But I, use, I do somewhat use it a little bit if I can't get my heart lining to stick. Sometimes I'll use it to a certain extent. I'll pull my sides out just a little bit and smooth them out because it, it does kind of kind of help you get that little bit of heart lining. And sometimes I'll pull that up. And then sometimes I'll just like smooth out a couple pieces here, like these side pieces a little bit, smooth it out, and then kind of have it slightly raised. This is, this was, these pieces were way too long, but I'm just an example. <laughs> <clears throat> if only it was as easy as No Limits 2. No Limits 2 just automatically puts in your heart line, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's not the best way to do it. That was like my old method of doing it, but I kind of mix that in there a little bit if I can't keep my heart lining very well. Sometimes I'll just pull those sides out and smooth it out a little bit. And then there, I have a whole another method for doing like wave turns. So you can get like this shaping like I did on Outlaw here, because those wave turns kind of bow out a little bit on these, on like RMC wave turns. So I have a whole nother method of doing that element uh, in a way. It's, it's, it's still like the three smoothing go through a couple times, but it's a lot, it's a little bit different because after you're done, I usually have to pull the front part, the top part out and I pull it out to where it gets that bow, uh, kind of bows out a little bit, and then I have to smooth that out. So that's kind of the how I do my wave turns a bit, because they do have that shaping to them. And then I do recommend doing your custom supporting on wave turns, because the auto-generated supports are going to put your supports on the inside of the track when they should be on the outside like this, because um, that's how Outlaws is. And I actually did custom support uh, this section here um, with the wave turn just because I wanted the uh, wanted that to look correct and it looks a lot better same with this spot right here because it was putting the um, supports on the inside when they should be on the outside <clears throat> so that's something I wish they would fix on the auto generated supports a little bit Oh, I also did put in, uh, we haven't looked at the park much at night, so why not? I haven't done too much for nighttime, but as you can see, I do have, like, the lift lights here on Outlaw and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, so, Mr. Grove Falls has a sick lighting package, by the way, if you haven't seen it before. It actually does have a really good lighting package, so I'm going to have to get that in there, too. <laughs> but yeah, just watch it when it goes through the camera section. Like, this is where it takes your on-ride photo. I actually added a strobe effect that's pretty cool. Because I wanted to have that on-ride photo. You know, got to have that on-ride photo. Pretty cool. Outlaw Run has a really good night ride, by the way. Do you think mods for this game will come to console edition? Probably not. I mean, I wouldn't say anything's Im not everything's impossible, but it it would be a lot harder to get those mods onto console. I'm not sure exactly how they would do it. Um, so Coaster Studios actually, I think he tweeted or something. There was one time, the time that we was here, and he actually said Outlaw Run is his second ranked night ride that he's ever been on, just behind Voyage. It is epic at night. Like, it feels like a whole different ride experience at night because it feels so fast at night on Outlaw. I don't know why it feels so fast, but it feels so fast. Pitch darkness, we have no lights out there. The only lights on Outlaw Run at night are these lift lights that just light, light up the lift slightly. That's it. <laughs> now, the front row is really good at night. I will agree with that.
As good as Beast? Pretty close. Like, Beast has a really good night ride, too. I'm, I'm kind of torn between the two. I don't know which one I would like better. I real I've only been on Beast at night maybe once. I only got to ride it like once at night, but it was amazing. I it was one of my favorite if not my favorite night ride, one of my favorite night rides. It's Outlaw Run and Beast are my top two night rides. I didn't I haven't gotten to ride Voyage really at night. I've gotten to ride Voyage close to nighttime. It was it was pr it was starting to get dark when I rode Voyage, but not pitch darkness. So Got the guitar solo for uh, Freebird. <laughs> bam, bam. Dude, I remember when I would work at Time Traveler and I worked at a unload station, I could hear all this music and I was jamming out, man. I'd be out there on my PA system, just like jamming out to these songs. Thunderation. Do good. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> uh, a lot has to do with the layout. They built it so it falls nicely in the woods. Exactly. It's not just put in the open plot of land. It's surrounded by wood. Exactly. That's. Those are the best night rides when you have coasters that go out into the woods with no lights and everything those night rides are amazing that's why outlaw run's got a great night ride beast has a great night ride voyage has a great night ride because they're not out in the open they're usually pretty much out in the back where you you know where it's just dark <laughs> in general it's just like that's why some of the best night rides are the ones that don't have any lights at all because <laughs> it's just so you're just in darkness um, so a few weeks ago, we had a really, really foggy day, and out, it was foggy all day, and we were open till late, and because it, it was during Christmas, uh, during a Christmas festival still. So, and I got to ride Outlaw Run in the dark in the fog. That is some of the best experience you'll ever have. If you ever have the chance to ride Outlaw Run at night in the fog, it's it's kind of a rare rarity, but it can happen. It's amazing, by the way. <laughs> like, when you're at the top of that lift hill, and you can't see anything below you, it's pitch darkness, and all you see is fog. It's just, it is it is trippy. It's amazing. It feels like you're dropping into nothing. It's just insane. When you get to ride, Outlaw Run in the Fog in general is great, but fog, nighttime, one of the best experiences. Glad I got to experience that. Uh, just in general, so. <sighs> Where'd all these lights come from? What? What? Oh. Huh? Oh my gosh, cat just got startled. <laughs> Seriously, where are these lights coming from? It's from the, uh, do the light, are there lights on the bathroom? Kind of curious. 
Writing and light rain is getting, oh gosh, just rain in general, writing and rain. Ugh. Not a big fan, especially on Outlaw when it's like 68 miles an hour. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not really good. <laughs> Uh, I just enjoy coasters, and there's not many coasters I dislike, you know? To be honest, there's a very, very few coasters that I just hate that I will not, don't really care about riding. One of those is Ninja at Six Flags St. Louis. If I, I sometimes ride, I, I ride it maybe once when I go there. Sometimes I even skip out on it. Because I'm just like, I'll, I'll write it. Maybe if there's no line, usually there isn't because it's horrible. <laughs> I just, I do not like Ninja. I do not like Ninja at all. Outlaw or Steel Vengeance? Which one is better? Your thoughts? Uh, personally, Steel Vengeance is better for me. Outlaw is still great and still makes my top 10. Or I think Outlaw runs still in my top 5, actually. Um, but... Steel Vengeance is my number one, so it actually is my number one coaster as of right now. So my list as goes as, let me see if I remember right, I got my top ten kind of memorized, almost. <laughs> so number one I have, I have Steel Vengeance. Uh, number two I have Maverick. I love Maverick so much. My f two favorite coasters I've ever been on are right next to each other too, so <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, number three I got Lightning Rod. Uh, it's really, three and four is really tough, because I got Lightning Rod and Voyage, and I'm really, it's really hard for me to choose one or the other, but I think I got Lightning Rod at three, Voyage at four, um, Outlaw Run at five, <clears throat> Mystery Mine at six, um, Diamondback at seven, Time Traveler eight, um, oh gosh, what was number nine? I can't remember what number nine is. I know number ten's Orion. What did I put at nine? I can't remember what I had at nine. Holy crap. I'm missing one. Unless it wasn't nine and it was somewhere else. I am forgetting a ride somewhere. <laughs> oh, crap. Was it something at Kings Island? Um. Oh, shoot. I can't think of one. Hmm. Yeah, Maverick holds a special place in my heart. It was the first coaster that I've rode that I really got off saying, wow. Like, wow, wow, you know? Because um, at that point, before I visited Cedar Point, I really hadn't visited any parks that had really big coasters, you know? Um, I'd really only had visited, been at Silver Dollar City, Worlds of Fun, Six Flags St. Louis, and that's basically the biggest parks I'd been to prior to that point, um, until I went to Cedar Point, so, um, and I was just in coaster heaven, because I had wanted to go for so long, and we finally made a trip up there, and when I rode Maverick, because I, I had lower expectations for Maverick, because I was like, um, Everyone kept saying it was the best ride there, and this is before Steel Vengeance, of course. And I was just like, it's not that big, though. It's just, it doesn't even look that big. So I was like, I don't see what the big hype is about. And then I, I rode it, and I was like, holy crap, that was amazing. <laughs> uh, try riding it opening day in pouring rain. <laughs> Sup, nerd? Hey, Harley, what's up? Just, uh, just working on the city, you know? I've been working on the Riverfront, Riverfront Playhouse uh, in this episode so far. Uh, it's coming along nicely. Uh, I'm going to be working a lot on the Riverfront Road here, and Rivertown and whatnot, and all that fun stuff. Looking, looking good. I went through and got a ton of reference photos of this building, so... That's why Steel Vengeance is good. It just keeps going and going. That's what I like about Steel Vengeance. It's just long. It's a nice long RMC. Most RMCs are pretty short. So it's just like, it's nice to see an RMC that is nice and long and just keeps going. It was just a box a few days ago. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, gosh. Thanks for the stream. Gotta hit the hay, but good. Oh well, thanks. Um, appreciate it. Have a, you know, have a have a wonderful night. <laughs> appreciate you joining. Really. Um, we've had we've had a fun stream tonight so far. We've had, a, we've had good times. Good times. I need to get the music that plays at River Mystic River Falls. Maybe I'll go out there one day and just record the, the audio that plays or something. <laughs> That's something like I, I would totally not do that. I only stood at uh, Time Traveler for 45 minutes recording all this music. <laughs> That's why I'm confused on what Cedar Point will add next. It's like they have everything already. I mean, there's some stuff they could add to their lineup. I could see like something like a flying coaster would definitely work there, work really well. I, they don't really have anything by Gerslar. I mean, a Gerslar Eurofighter, I don't know. Just stuff that they typically don't really have. It, it's kind of the way I'm looking at thinking, but do you ever ride a coaster that made you barf? No, I've never, I've never thrown up from a coaster before. Mock Extreme Spinner, there's one. <laughs> exactly, they don't, they don't have a spinning coaster at Cedar Point. Man, I want to go back. I want to go back and ride Steel Vengeance again. I just want to. I would just want to marathon Steel Vengeance and Maverick. <laughs> They're right next to each other, so it makes it easy. <laughs> uh. I like B and M flyers. B and M flyers are good. I've, I mean, I've only been on Manta, but I love Manta. That was fun. Here's a barrel of laughs. That is true. They don't have anything like super unique. They usually just build coasters that break records. <laughs> That's about all they do. <laughs> I have to say, Steel Vengeance was that one coaster that just was, yeah, broke all. It was gimmicky and broke all these records, but it, uh, they, it, but it actually was. It's just a quality ride. It doesn't have much theming. Like most of their rides, don't really have a whole lot of theming. I love theming. Oh, that's the coaster I was think that I was missing. Hagrid's Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. That was. I think I put that at number eight, actually, or seven or eight. Seven. Yes, it was seven. So six was um, Mystery Mine. Seven was Hagrid's. Eight was um, Diamondback. Nine, Time Traveler. And then ten was Orion. That was my... That was it. I thought of theming on coasters, and, and Hagrid's popped into my mind. That was the one that was in the top ten. <laughs> Mario, yes, I have seen the previews for uh, Nintendo World. That, oh my gosh, the the Mario Kart ride. I want to ride it so bad. I want to ride it so bad. It it won't be coming to Florida until like 2023, 2024. Uh, I think it got delayed, so I think it's gonna be 2024. Um, so they're building a new park at Universal Orlando. They're building a third park, and it's rumored to have the Super Nintendo World. So. Um, I think that's when Florida is going to get it is a couple more years and they'll have it. So it'll be cool to have one in the States, um, which will be in Florida. And um, I'm sure there'll be one coming to California uh, eventually as well. The theming looks insane. The The Mario Kart ride is going to have augmented reality. That's going to be insane. <laughs> uh, adding it onto Islands of Adventure. Um, I thought it was going to go to Epic Adventure. Like the new one, because the third park that they're building, because they're building the third park, and from the uh, from the reveal of it, it look you can clearly see what looks like Nintendo World, um, from Epic Universe, and so I think it's going to Epic Universe, and Orlando. Epic Universe, Universal. Let me see. Look at a picture. Uh, and see if I can see where it was rumored to be. Yeah, you can see a picture. There's a picture that, where you can see it. 
Yeah, that's got to be... Is that Super Nin Does that look like Super Nintendo World? I don't know. But there's like a whole map layout where it, where they haven't announced all of the the stuff yet. But um Let me see if I can show you guys on screen here of what I'm looking at. Let's see if we can uh, get a little in depth here. Um, hold on, let me add a uh, display capture here. Display capture. Oh, perfect. There it is. It's not sized correctly, but... <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, so you can see here, this is this is Epic Universe for Orlando. It's supposed to open 2023, but I think they said they delayed it, so I don't know if it's going to still open in 2023. So this is what it looks like. This is Epic Universe. Um, this is the new park that was announced for... Or, um, it's just down the road from Universal, and it's going to be a new Universal park. It's going to be called Epic Universe, uh, and there's a lot of theories of what these different sections are going to be. So over here... I think was rumored to be the Super Nintendo Land. I think that's the one that was rumored. And see this big show building right here? I think that's supposed to be the, the Mario Kart one uh, ride, I believe. And this top little area up here was supposed to be Classic Monsters, is what it's rumored to be. You see like a, auto, like a amphitheater right there, which is pretty cool. Um, this park looks amazing, by the way. Um, over to the right here, this is rumored to be the new Harry Potter section. We don't know what it's going to be themed to. Either Ministry of Magic or Fantastic Beasts uh, is the rumors right now. Uh, one of those two. Uh, a lot of people are hoping it's Ministry and not Fantastic Beasts, but um, we really don't know right there. And down here at the bottom, uh, this is rumored to be a How to Train Your Dragon section. Uh, and it's going to have a coaster and everything. And a motion simulator, like a flying simulator, which is really cool is what it's rumored to be. So this is rumored to be how to train your dragon. So, um, which would be a really cool section or a section that Jesse would be super hyped about. Um, and this uh, dueling coaster, they're supposed to have like a dueling coaster, kind of like West Coast Racers. Um, so they get that dueling coaster back. Uh, remember when they had um, dueling dragons uh, slash uh, dragon challenge? This is kind of almost like your spiritual successor to it in a way because it's going to have that dueling feature. So um, I'd imagine this is going to be a, like a Premier Rides um, dueling launch coaster, kind of like West Coast Racers, because that's what it looks like, obviously. Um, so that looks, that's the cool thing about this is like I'm excited for this park and I definitely got to check it out when, um, when it opens. So I don't know what all this is back here because there's a little bit extra. You see, like if this is going to be Super Nintendo World right here, um, which I'm guessing it is. Um, I don't know what this part is back here. Maybe it's another Nintendo section. Since it's connected behind it as well. <clears throat> but I don't know. And then you got this main street. You got the huge hotel at the end. Um, it looks like an incredible park, though. It's going to have some cool sections. And I think it will be cool. So, so yeah. This is supposed to... It was supposed to open in 2023... But I think it got delayed to 2024, um, as far as I heard. Um, they still haven't... I don't think they've gone vertical yet with this construction. It's still just a plot... The plot of land is just sitting there, um, empty. Um, I, I think they're still doing, like, some land prepping and clearing and stuff like that. So, what's your thoughts on the Intimate Single Rail launch coming to uh, Australia? You think the park here will build one? Uh, what park? So you, uh, so like the Intamin single rail. Um, yeah, I saw that. Uh, the one coming to, uh, I think it's in Australia, right? Yeah. <clears throat> it looks pretty cool. It doesn't look as good as the RMC Raptors. It looks more like a family kind of coaster, which is fine. So, um, I could see them, uh, I could see them building in America too, you know. But, um, I think it looks pretty cool for what it is. But yeah. Epic Universe. I can't. I can't wait till this thing becomes real. <laughs> it, it looks like it's gonna be really, really cool. I love Universal. One of my favorites. 
I absolutely love Universal. <clears throat> but I think I think the new Intamin single rail will be pretty cool. They can a uh, Cedar Fair Park will pick it up. I mean, they could. It's definitely possible. Definitely possible. I think I might add just a little bit on the wall here. Just a tiny bit. I always want to try and work a tiny bit on Mystic each each time. Since Mystic is such a big part of the project here, we gotta add a little bit. Because it wants to be in the spotlight, you know. I'm dreading on doing all the walls on both sides all the way around, so I figured I would just like do a tiny bit, a little bit each time. That way it slowly will get, get completed. And not try not to burn myself out in doing this, so. It'd be be cool. I got all of the dogs out. All right. Ooh, I like the that was that was bad. Sorry. That's a little bit too aged at this point. I think it's an aged joke. A little bit too much. I love hearing launch sounds on a raft ride. <laughs> it's too much. Just got another dog. Aww. Nice. Little doggy. And Mystic, like, literally goes through the layout a lot faster. The current is so much faster. Come on, Planet Coaster, give us these options. I wish you could adjust the current speed of the water in different sections. This kind of goes a little too slow. That's why I added some launches in a few spots. Anyone know if there's a coaster that takes 10 minutes or more to ride? Um, hmm. 10 minutes or more. If I if I was to guess one, it'd probably be a partially dark ride. If there's any, I'm sure there is somewhere. A coaster that's over 10 minutes long. I mean, maybe there's not, but. I feel like there probably is.
but I can't think of one that's over 10. I, I know some that are probably like 6, 7 minutes long, but like not, not quite 10. Yeah. Not quite. None that I've ever rode, anyways. That'd be a pretty lengthy ride. You can see I'm just like slowly getting this done with the, the little wall. And then setting some rocks on top of it. <sighs> have to be a slow, yeah, it would have to be like a, kind of like, for instance, fire in the hole, but a little bit longer. Fire in the Holes track length isn't even that long, you know, it's like a few thousand feet, I think, 2,000 something feet, I don't even actually know. <laughs> I wonder if uh, RCDB has the track length for it. Curious now. And, because Fire in the Holes is a good five-ish minutes, I don't know, something like that. Fire in the Holes over to our city. Um, there's not really any, not many facts on it, so. They don't really have much of anything on here, actually. They don't really have, like, any stats of it. getting any uh, stats on it. I'd probably have to look up at somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know if there'd be anything that's 10 minutes long. I know Fire in the Hole used to be a much longer ride at one point. Um, and then at one point, they did shorten it. Um... 12 minutes, though. Ooh. Was it really? I wish we could have, like, an old POV, a POV back in the days, like, when in the 70s when it first opened. Hey, what's up? What's good? Um, everything right now. We're doing great. What's good with you? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I wish we could have had one. Uh video of that, you know. Don't know if one exists, but... Many changes have happened in Fire in the Hole since it opened in 1972. And I wasn't even thought of back then, so... <laughs> I could not tell you. Fire wagon frenzy. Fire wagon frenzy. Yeah, if I can just get myself worked back here to Fireman's Landing, we can really start getting the overall the park pretty closer to completion. I mean, this is the this is the most uh, bare area that I haven't really done much to. So <clears throat> get the path filled there with all the buildings and rides and. Get Fireman's Landing looking good. Um, I got obviously get some of the buildings coming around this turn, and get all this populated. We'll be very good. All that's left is to do is like Midtown. Cause I haven't really done anything in Midtown yet. Doing all right. Uh, was about to go to bed, then I popped up in my recommended and had to check it out. Nice, 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 nice. Glad to see I'm in your recommended. <laughs> So, oh gosh, life is simple on a farm. 
Life is simple when you're working real hard. Marshal Wyatt hadn't cornered him back there. Here at Silver Dollar City, the good guys always win. Good guys always win. I don't know yet if I'm gonna do like the little maintenance area back here. I might, if I do, I'll probably do it last. Like, I'll complete all the park first, and then, uh, like, when I release phase one, it probably won't have it. Because I just have so much space back here to work with that I could easily put that in there, you know? I might even, <laughs> I could even fit, like, the road that goes past here if I wanted to. <laughs> uh, so I could even, like, add 76 going across here. Heading back towards Branson West. <laughs> this looks uh, solid so far. How long have you been working on this? So it's I, it's been an on and off project since 2016. I haven't really been full on working on it since until like the last year or so. This last year or so I've been really working on it more. Um, I wouldn't say I work on it as regularly as I should. And I'm kind of a severe, I'm a very slow builder in general. So a project like this is very massive for me. Um, but overall, the only areas I have like nearly pretty much completed is Outlaw Run and the Giant Swing area. This area is pretty much done. Um, at least from the pathways to the ride and every rides and everything. Um, that this is pretty much done. Um, and I'm trying to get this area. This is the main area I've been working on uh, as of late. Um, bef lately, beforehand, this none of this was pretty much here. Um, so we've been working on Mystic River Falls, and get and I just started to just work on the building uh, riverfront today. This this building is what I've been working on, uh, and a little bit on Mystic today. And then we're gonna do the pathing. So I want to finish up this section, pretty much. So I'm going to push my way over here and try and finish up all this. Uh, Steel Dragon 2000 is the longest coaster by track length. <clears throat> but it only lasts four minutes because it's pretty fast. <laughs> that's a giga coaster in Japan that's over 8,000 feet in track length. So it's the longest by track length. Can I make your office? Um, let me let me see. I probably could. I could put an Easter egg in there. I really want to put some Easter eggs in here. So here we are, uh, attractions office. <laughs> I forgot that I forgot I even have the little door that leads to the attractions office. All right, so this is where the attractions office should be. No interior just yet. <laughs> but Harley, you're 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 on the top floor. Right next to um, uh, dispatch, right? Yeah, you're right there. Unless you've moved, I think that's where you're at. <laughs> I should, I should make your office. I don't have any references, but I'm gonna do my best. I actually need to make a wall here, like a wall, wall, wall. There's the office door there. There it is. So the barrier should be here. Gotta get a pl my placement skills of where I'm at right now. Because <laughs> the office would be in here. <laughs> First door on the right. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay, so this is the entrance to the cave that I've tried to do. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm working with some tight spaces here, but... I'm trying to figure out how this works. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done any interior. <laughs> That's for sure. Wait, do I have any desks? I gotta get your desk in there. This is gonna be really, like, very, very bare bones, since I haven't done any, any interior at all. <laughs> I think I got a desk. Oh, it's auto saving. So it'll take a minute. I think I got a desk. I don't know if there's a computer in the in, that I can use, but <laughs> get your. Actually, there is a monitor. Why am I in building? I thought I, I thought I clicked toolkit items. 
I got Planet Coaster, and it's my best choice ever. It is a fun game. You can get some reference photos. <laughs> yeah, get some reference photos. Hey, thanks for the subscription. I don't know if you're watching the live stream, but I appreciate... Oh, yeah, you are. You are. That was uh, Hexy uh, RL. Sweet. Thanks for the sub. I really do appreciate it. Gosh dang, it's still auto-saving. It's going to take a minute. <laughs> Get me some reference photos. I, I will. I kind of want to make some like really fun Easter eggs for some of the people that work there. It'd, it'd be really funny. Like maybe I can even get like a little a little name thing that says your name on it and everything. Let's see. The only desks I have is this one and this one. This is a customer service desk. That looks horrible. I don't know if there's any other good desks in the game as of right now. Um, I can check the workshop, but see if there's any more. Do you like a model for tiny plastic babies to hide around the park? <laughs> I remember that you did that. That was funny. Okay, so I, I don't have any references, so I'm just gonna... I'm, this is your desk. Alright, I gotta give you a chair. I don't know if I have an office chair. Here you go, this is the closest thing I have. There we go. There's your chair. <laughs> I have 200 more? Oh my gosh. Uh, is there a TV? I don't know if there's a TV in here. I have an, a vintage TV. <laughs> That's huge. Um, I can go just use the end game for your uh, computer monitor. I think you have two monitors, so. Um, screens. The TVs are probably huge. <laughs> yeah, the TVs are huge, but it's all I got. That is that is n way too big for a computer monitor. <laughs> but it's all we got at the moment. <laughs> I love my new workspace. I'm working with what I got. Unfortunately, this is all I got. See, I, I upgraded your space. You now have a huge monitor instead of two small ones. If, if, if you consider that an upgrade. <laughs> oh, we gotta get Harley in. We gotta get you in here. Like, you, you. I only have, like, one, one model. Uh, at least in the toolkit. There's a staff member he doesn't look great <laughs> I mean I got Hagrid I've got <laughs> where's the staff I, mean, it's, I thought he, I thought he was called staff maybe he's called employee oh wait I got a better idea I'll just plop down a worker down here in this spot that's what we'll do we'll just plop down a worker here Because they wear, they have polos and stuff. They have nice little polo shirts. I gotta put place down a piece of path, otherwise I can't place them down. Let's see, park management staff. Okay, here's your. <laughs> uh, the vendor's the best one I could come up with. Oh, that's a. It's a female vendor. We need a male vendor. Harley is a male. There, there we go. Let's see, can I move you around? You look, you look. Uh, his name's Monroe for now, but we're gonna change that. That looks close enough to you. <laughs> I should do this. Like, I should name actual people in here. There he is. Did you just assume I... Well, I know your gender, so... <laughs> what color do you want uh, your uniform to be? Do you like red? What, what, what colors? 
I can make it blue. I mean, that's totally not your hairstyle, but... <laughs> he looks perfectly dead inside. Exactly, he's perfect. What color do you want? Your, I can change his pant color, his short colors, too. <laughs> I want to do, like, little Easter eggs like this and actually have the names <laughs> in there, like, uh... I'll put me in there somewhere. Just name the the workers the actual names of people that work. <laughs> if they're okay with that, I guess I should. I don't, I don't, they'll they'll be fine with it. They're just names. <laughs> people won't know that they're real. <laughs> Harley is gonna be up here in the uh, attractions office. Harley, what colors do you want? You like blue, red? You can do any color you want. I got unlimited possibilities here. Purple. Any color is fine. Oh, you don't care? Okay. I'll give you um, a little bit of a faded blue. How about that? Yeah. That looks like something you'd wear. Maybe gray, gray shorts. Looking, you look sharp. Looking sharp. There's Harley. Beautiful. <laughs> I gotta get everyone. Maybe we can put like Alex up here, like make a little dispatch stand. We'll put Alex in there. We'll put uh, <laughs> put everyone in there. Get all the supervisors. Why not? <laughs> just put them like, this is like state sitting in here in the office, looking like that. <laughs> just, just put this belly out. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> make him more miserable. You're right. Um, wages. Where's his wages? <laughs> Five dollars per month. Now he's really gonna be mad. <laughs> Only making five dollars a month. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, vendor status. You're on strike, apparently. Uh, but his thoughts are, I'm so happy to work. My pay is pretty good. Um, so, work roster, I have different, I have Crossroads, Powder Keg, Fire in the Hole, Wilson's Farm. <laughs> I forgot about that. There we go, you're making $5 per month, you're currently on strike, um, and you're pay, they pay me peanuts. <laughs> Perfect. You're beautiful. They pay me peanuts. <laughs> oh, that's, that's beautiful. I love it. Oh, we gotta make maintenance. Oh, we, we're doing this right now. Heath has gotta be over here by Outlaw. I gotta make Heath. I gotta, I gotta have Heath over here. Maybe, should I put him over here? I should put Heath over here somewhere. He's gonna be so happy. Keep a lookout for those outlaws and enjoy the rest of your day here at Silver. And of course we gotta make him a maintenance guy. <laughs> All the maintenance guys look the same though. Welcome, pioneers. Can't change their looks. He's got he's gonna be happy though. He's a... Go ahead and He's last name. Mm -hmm. We'll just call him Heath. I, I shouldn't probably put everyone's last name. His name's Heath. <laughs> Except we have more, uh, more blue colors. And more of a blue color. Heath looks happy. Wait, we'll give him... Oh, not that blue. That's too blue. Kind of a... A little bit of lighter. Yeah, yeah, that's closer. Heath is... he's ready. This is what our maintenance guys totally wear, by the way. This is the, this is the stuff they wear. Yeah, Heath. I know he doesn't work there anymore, but can we please have Paul over at Time Traveler? I feel like, I feel like I have to. 
Should I have him in the little maintenance break room? Here's our, here's the time traveler break room. <laughs> I didn't do a great job at it though. I remember I made the perspective a little bit off here. Just because um, I made like that illusion that there's more space in here, but there's not. So that's weird. Yeah, the more you tell you why he's stayed with Cheeto. <laughs> if only that was a something that was possible. <laughs> Paul has got to be an Easter egg in here. He's going to be an Easter egg in here. Because I know he'll never watch this, so... And if he did, I would be so happy anyways. Oh gosh, what's going on? What's going on frame rate? What's going what's going on frame rate? I'll put him in here cuz not really anywhere else to put him. There's Paul. Oh, I mean I can change the color. <laughs> his tidy whities I guess you could say, and this could be the Cheetos. Cheeto dust. Closest thing to it, I guess. It's the only thing I could... Closest thing I can do. It's got some Cheetos. <laughs> so, I guess that's the closest I can do. Look how happy he... Look, look he's even got a mustache. It's not a, it's not as full as the real one, but <laughs> he looks too happy. He looks way too happy. This wait, I know how to make him not happy. Five dollars per month. <laughs> this job is great. <laughs> it was like it's like this job was made for me. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> I wish you could like edit them to make them look different and stuff. That'd be funny. Like you could actually edit their appearance a little bit. Because I would definitely find that mustache and be beautiful. Paul looks happy. I'm so glad I got the spinning cars on there now. It looks so much, so, so much better with the spinning. Funny thing is, you can hear Sheila shouting in one of these clips. There she is, yelling. Add some ambience. There's the ding dongs. I still need to add the uh, the audio that says "ready for launch." Hold on. That's why I still need to get in here. Ready for launch. Hold on. think in real life we'd be able to dispatch the trains that quickly, but okay. I need to bank that a little bit more. Seems a little underbanked. I 
Man, look at those dispatches. Very fast. This was our biggest time jump yet. All you gotta do is dream big and do good. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, Harley, I got finally got a time traveler snow globe. Look. It looks great. I finally got one. I got it on half off day. Finally. I've been waiting to get I've been wanting to get one ever since Time Traveler opened, but finally got one. Finally. And I love it. <laughs> I did a little bit of time traveler shopping, so I got that. Um what else did I get? Oh I got the playing cards. I really like the playing cards. I haven't opened them yet. I don't know if I want to open them yet. But they're the ones with, they have like the gold foil um, uh, playing cards. They're really nice. I really liked them, so I decided to pick them up. To add to my collection of Time Traveler merch. <laughs> I got three Shinons that I turned in. I'm gonna get a Rube Dugan's Diving Bell Magnet. I'm excited for that too. Can't wait to get that. And then I also got a Time Traveler coin. Because I thought it was pretty cool. So. And then I bought one of my friends, uh, the Nano Coasters as well. I love these guys. I w Why don't they have a Time Traveler Nano Coaster? Come on, SDC, get Time Traveler. That would be such a cool one to have. But no, we only got... I, I, I'm super happy we have Outlaw and Wildfire, but like, we need more of them. We need Powder Keg and Time Traveler, and I'd be alright with Thunderation, too. Like, I love these things. But I bought those for Gunner, because he's going to be coming down in a few weeks. And I already have those, so... Absolutely love Nano Coasters. Could you imagine a Time Traveler one? Eh. But here's Wildfires, all put together. Wildfire. I love these things. I I can't wait to get more of them. I got. I think I have ten of them now. So, and I'm glad Silver Dollar City finally started doing some. Because I just like models and stuff. They're so cool. I'm running out of space to put them though. I need a. Uh... I need more shelves. I need to put this sign back up on the wall. It just fell off my wall the other day, so I just didn't put it back up. I just set it back behind me because I don't want it falling because it fell right on top of my monitors and stuff. It didn't break anything, thankfully, but I don't know where else to put it right now. So I just have it sitting in the back. I wonder if those toolkit items got in here. There's a Starbucks that I subscribe to. <laughs> Sometimes you have to restart the game for it to show up, though. Uh, you usually can refresh it. I don't know if I've refreshed it since. Yeah, I probably might have to restart the game before they show up. Oh, well. You like the the realism I put here? I actually put one of the little lifts underneath the transfer track because there's always one that's sitting there. I don't know if it's still sitting there, but they usually have one that just sits there. Every time I've seen, I went down there. <laughs> I haven't rode Time Traveler in quite a while. I need to ride it again. for the journey of a lifetime. I'm thinking about getting custom images here and actually put, making it look like 
um, the video, like the photo, videos footage. Proud of my powder keg recreation. I like it. I love that I had the was able to put in the switch over to the bus off falls track. I love it. I forgot I did custom audio for this too. It has Becca's voice on it. Oh, that's not timed right. It was timed right. I don't know what happened to it. The sequence is messed up now. Too bad you can't adjust the heights because this one's way too tall. The real one's not that tall. Maybe it's going to be closer here? Oh, it looks like it's good now. Yeah. It's not perfectly timed, but... A little bit better. Than that first time. First time was off for some reason. Anyways. I think that's gonna do it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and thanks for spending the night with me here on the stream. Um, we'll probably be back tomorrow and working on some more. Um, probably do more Silver Dollar City. Maybe play some Phasmophobia. I'm not sure. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and head off for now. Um, since it's getting a little late. Holy crap, it's 1 in the morning. Jeez. I didn't even realize it was that late. Last time I looked, it was literally like 11 something. So that's insane. Okay. <laughs> probably good I'm getting off now. So uh, make sure you guys have a great day and cool tomorrow. I'm going to catch you guys in the next live stream or video. And I appreciate all of you guys. Um, 
for joining, and uh, again, we'll be back really soon again. So, um, all right, you guys rock. Thanks, and goodbye.